what's going on everybody welcome back to the second podcast with the co-op crew live i am your somewhat lovely host sunny typhoo joined again by plat boy plays as our, our special guest today is going to be timmy pop pie we also have another cell which you can see which is our new friend blue dog so that's the crew for tonight welcome everybody what's up what what's up, up man <laughs> Timmy, how you doing, man? Welcome to the podcast, Sonny. Let's get it, man. Yeah, give him a little bit of hype. You guys can't hear it there, but I need to get some clapping things. Maybe Jay's got one in his thing for his podcast. Got a couple, you know, yeah. like, like clap or, uh, you know, fart noises. Yeah, what's I got the, what's, I def- what's the point of a soundboard if you don't use it? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Spend 100 bucks on a stream deck. Anyway. Always like. Lo- I always like watching the intro to your uh, your stream because I, I feel like I'm gonna watch a, a Game of Thrones episode, kind of. Yeah, my brother made that for me. It was really uh, really nice. I have an outro too, but I kind of got lazy and yeah. So, but uh, what we like to do, uh, folks, is we bring a guest on the show to talk to him. Uh, as we stated last time, me and Jay have known each other for almost ten years now. Uh, Timmy Pot Pie, I've known Tim longer than Jay. Uh, I think we're closing in, dang near on fifteen years. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't air out a lot of my dirty laundry on the stream tonight. Uh, we'll see how many of those lights he gets in and before those comments come out. But we always like to get to know our guests a little bit for a chat. So honestly, man, just a brief introduction as far as like, um, you know, tell us what got you into gaming in the first place. I mean, that's what we are. We're gamers. So so what got you into that to begin with? Oh, my goodness, man. Um, my name's Tim. Timmy Pot Pie, whatever you want to call me, it's fun. And then I, I'll try not to get all the uh, dirty laundry out because we all know that your beard can't hide it all. No, and... try though. <laughs> Under here is a whole That's laundry crazy. basket of dirty laundry. But I will say that you know I've been I've been gaming since you know very little man since since um, like something that was always in our house you know so like I'm a, a family of four and I was the youngest so I'm the baby of the family and my older brother also loved video games and we're big into like art like drawing comics and things like that so um uh, naturally gaming was just works right alongside that so um we used to throw down i mean heck dude we had an atari you know in the beginning like i, I know that sounds, yeah man and so <laughs> nice we ended up uh we would throw down on just that it was like always com uh, like competitive and uh i think i really got involved you know, with, uh, I know just the classics, like Super Super Mario. Uh, I think it really came out when, like, Street Fighter uh, came out, Mortal Kombat, because we would just spend hours, you know, just <laughs> nice. beating the shit out of each other. And, uh, you know, because that was the only way that our parents would allow us to actually fight, right? Um, so, I don't know, man. Uh, long, long history. Uh, before we jump like too deep into you know asking you questions, what what is your top five of all time? Oh my goodness, uh, top five. Some of them are probably gonna be pretty generic, but I'm uh, Zelda was like a big thing for me, and so like uh, which Zelda time, did you start on? Um, phew, I I started uh on um Link's uh, uh, Link's Awakening, um. And then for the Game Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a that's, real that's, good game. Yeah. Um. So that's where I, that's kind of where I started. But um, uh, Ocar- Ocarina of Time, uh, nice. Majora's Mask, I would say are like even for me. Like, uh, they're my favorite as far as Zelda's go. Um, Witcher, Witcher Three. <laughs> um, nice. Goodness. Man, uh, I've I can't tell you. So we I lived out in the country for a long time and. You know what I mean? Gamers don't – just because you don't have internet doesn't mean you don't like playing video games, right? <laughs> Ain't um, that the truth. <laughs> so we had satellite internet at the time, and, Dang. man, I got to tell you, the only thing that got me through that was The Witcher 3, man. And Because uh, <laughs> I pretty much max scaled that game as much as I could, and then you go back and, you know, you play it again. So Witcher 3, um, one y'all might not have heard of, but was, like, real, real awesome on the Dreamcast. Um, I, think it, I think it was one of – one of those uh it's grandia 2 grandia 2 i don't know if y'all have ever heard of that before it was grandia was like a huge thing I'm looking like it up Sega, right now Sega saturn um but then grandia 2 grandia 2 came out on the dreamcast it was like 
one of those RPGs that dropped on the Dreamcast, and I freaking loved it, man. It, it looks was like one Final of those Fantasy hair that, on that guy. Yeah, yeah. So like, I this is one of the first games that I actually like teared up when I beat a, a beat the game. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you were so invested. Side and... note: You can get Grandia <laughs> Two HD Remaster on Steam for twenty bucks right now. Yeah, wow! You should, if you've never played it before, I would suggest it. Um, the this previous God of War that was released on the PS4. That was uh that was so it was just an amazing game. I I got the privilege of playing it on the PS5 when they remastered it for the first nice. time. So I think that's how they originally wanted you to play it. So um beautiful. And then of course uh Mario 64, man. Like golly. Um you can't you can't you can't go wrong with Mario 64. That no, was probably one of so the hardest good. games ever. Um you know, most... did Mario 64. Okay. I feel like that took it to the next level, but Ocarina of Time like seemed like it took it even like a, a jump over mario 64 would you say oh yeah i mean as far as like like you know just just what they could actually do with the system like the mario 64, 64 period first started, it was like crazy and then like they dropped ocarina of time and that was like even oh you know, my like god another yeah. level like I think Dude, I I still got the cartridge in the original box over here in my closet, man. Like, I, really? I, uh, yeah, 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 dude. Oh, um, I, I should have brought all that stuff out for you guys, but <laughs> man, because I'm a hoarder too when it comes to video games. So everything that I've ever purchased, I mean, I've got a freaking Jag Atari Jaguar, which you probably never even heard of before. Oh. Um, anyways, all, all I'm saying is, is that yeah, uh, the Ocarina of Time really brought it to that next level. Mario 64 though you gotta you gotta admit that's the first time you were able to play Mario like that. I yeah. mean, outside of Mar Mario RPG, do y'all y'all remember that? Oh yeah, that was that yeah, was yeah, yeah. good. Turn base. Well, yep. I think it's the controller really. Like I know that a lot of people have not been like it's not wildly popular, but I don't think you could have played a lot of those games without that first analog stick. I don't know about the Dreamcast because I was a poor boy. And like I said, at last stream, I was going to Walmart to play 64 until I got a job in college. I was like, I got, I can't be sitting at Walmart all day. Don't worry. Yeah, dude, Dream, a lot of was a friend's house. Like anytime I played that, it was, it was at a friend's house. So there's a lot of people that didn't know anything about the Dreamcast, man. Like that was the, the most underrated uh, system that had came out to me. Like it, it, it really did push the threshold for gaming at the time. And it didn't get the, it didn't get what it deserved. Was right, it a 32 right. or a 64 bit system? It was a it was a 64 bit. Cast? It was yeah. a 64 bit system. I I want to I want to say was it on oh, par one, yeah, with I think it was 128 like a Was it PS4, supposed to be released PS2. with the N64 cuz Sega Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo like those went side by side. I think it was more of a PlayStation release. Like a uh, PlayStation 2 came out. That's when the the Dreamcast oh, really? came out like right before. Yeah. It, it was like a 128 Bit system, uh, you know, but they, they were we were at polygons at that point now. So, yeah, providing 3D, a clear picture, you know. six forty by four eighty resolution. Who dog? <laughs> well, it it was. I mean, it was Dynamite Cop, uh, the Resident Evil series that they put on Dreamcast. Like all that stuff was like amazing. You know, to Power, see Power it Stone, the graphic Power Stone. Oh my God! Uh, uh, they had a couple of them that I really liked on that the the, the, the uh the sonic that released on dreamcast oh yeah oh yeah oh my god sonic come on oh my gosh dude it was so good and then he like he kind of goes uh he got he kind of goes super saiyan in that in that game because that's when the gold sonic came out that's when he released on that right, game. right. Okay. yeah hmm. yeah that 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 was definitely fun uh just i mean it, it had an adventure it wasn't just sonic you know, running through the stages, he actually had a you know open world adventure parts in it too, so that was pretty cool. Oh, okay, so it says it was the first in the sixth first in the sixth generation of video game consoles preceding Sony PlayStation Two, Nintendo's GameCube, and Microsoft Xbox. So it was after the sixty four, but before, well, after the sixty four and X uh, PlayStation One, just PlayStation. So yeah, I was a big. I'm I was always been a Nintendo guy, so I went. Um, from the 64 right to the gamecube like i, I love saying, uh, the gamecube john and chad he's saying uh that's my boy feathers he's saying uh it didn't sell like they wanted it to yeah that's what i was saying it and a lot of people don't know about the dreamcast because they never had it but i mean it was cool remember the tamagotchis remember those like uh yeah. little pets that people would take care of yeah like the dreamcast had one that you could put in the, in the center insult for uh extra memory 
and it had like a little Tamagotchi pet that was in yeah, the, on the on the little screen yeah yeah it was it was a sick console man i can't believe it flopped yeah and then like on that screen like say you're playing like uh remember the old uh 989 2k the, the guys that make the 2k basketball they had the football series but mm-hmm. like you could choose your plays right there on the screen of the, oh, yeah. of the controller like yeah, you yeah, know yeah, the yeah, hide yeah. the plays yeah it's so oh, weird dude, that it didn't Mar- take Marvel off versus capcom oh Marvel you can switch your players capcom. Yeah. Oh my hmm. gosh, Marvel vs. Capcom was so good on the Dreamcast. Uh, anyways, I don't know how we got on the Dreamcast so much. But That's yeah, what we dude, do, uh, man. We just run down a rabbit hole. It was cool, man. I don't know, man. Uh, it's one of those things. I I still got one. Uh, I was a big Sega fan. Like, um, I I know you said you were Nintendo. I liked. Uh, I love. I loved the Sega Genesis, and then the Game Gear. Like they were. I mean, the th- you got to think about it. They were so. They like revolutionized a lot of new things that came out, right? Like the Game Boy was black and white back then, and then oh, yeah. they came out with the Game Gear. The Full Game color. Gear, dude, yeah, but that was a was battery color. eating machine, bro. Dude. That was not for poor folks like me, <laughs> couldn't afford eat. it or the batteries. <laughs> you have to get those beer. rechargeables, man. <laughs> <laughs> those lithium. Yeah, no so lithium it's back so, then. It sold nine million units, and it discontinued in two thousand one from Jonathan. Yeah. That's crazy. 9, million, 9 million units. Billion units. So how many units did so, so that's like uh let's see. How many units did the what was it GameCube? So 9.55 million GameCube units. Nintendo's it's initial go to That year. seems so weird. You know, I never got, I never bought a GameCube. Never had one. Loved it. That's it. That's one of the only I think consoles I don't I never bought. Loved the micro re- discs, except my kids my kids were rat weasels back then, and they would use those puppies as ninja stars. So I got coasters yeah. instead of collectibles. Like not good. Wasn't it like uh, originally supposed to be called like the dolphin or something like that? Oh like, yeah, something dolphin. weird. The original name, yeah. but I think Nintendo did that for a while, like code names and stuff. The J ran off. Dolphin. Let's see. Yeah, and I mean like. <laughs> <laughs> the uh like i love the oh. gamecube like the four ports in the front like i love the snes like that was the first system i saved up and bought because like my brother had the nes and if he said i couldn't play it my parents like it's his you can't play it and i'm like but i want to play it he's not a gamer i'm a gamer so like i didn't really get as much into that until i learned how to manipulate the situation but uh like when I got my SNES, and like I said, I was poor. We talked about last time. Like the first uh, Nintendo game that I ever bought was Double Dragon Two, and it cost like sixty five bucks. Damn, you know, yeah, it was expensive. And then SNES, you could get games for like thirty bucks. I have the, I had the original Madden, like just Madden Football. It was so terrible, but like seventy five bucks. Honestly, yeah. for me, a football games didn't become like something special for me until Blitz came out. When Blitz yeah. came out, I was like, okay, okay. When do what what did Blitz release on? Uh, I mean, I Blitz? Was it Dreamcast? Was it the Dreamcast? I don't think I, it was. I, the I, Dream- I remember playing it. It was it was totally. Uh, it had to be or maybe PlayStation One. Uh, it released Nintendo Blitz video game nineteen ninety eight. Release dates US 31st August 1998 Nintendo 64 PlayStation 64 and PlayStation okay dude that game was pff, that game was awesome man I can't tell you how many friends I lost uh, playing <laughs> that game that's the one where you hit somebody and like lightning strike the field yeah man it was like it took it to another level you it's know? like the NBA Jam of football yeah yeah he's heating yeah, up yes. <laughs> I is, love NBA that's Jam, bro. a beautiful bro. description. When I oh get a house and I can actually get a man cave set up, I'm going to save up to get a, a, a whatever they call cabinet, like an actual arcade cabinet NBA Jam. That's like one of my favorite games of all time. Did you just it, say cabinet? A cabinet, cabinet? Like an arcade cabinet? Cabinet? I've never heard that forever. That must be a, you know, Here a we go. thing. Here we go. What do you guys the call shoes? them? The shoes? What is it? 
Is it the shoes? Like it's NBA Jam. <laughs> Can't buy a bucket. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. He's on fire. Yeah, I love that game so much. Crazy. It's so ridiculous. You can put in the code for the big heads. I love that, man. Oh, it was yeah. just it was so like I love whimsical stuff and that game is like checks every box for whimsy. Plus yeah, like it they, you know had the good Chicago Bulls on there back in the day. You know had, you know uh, they had a Charles Barkley's head was extra big though. <laughs> Just naturally, <laughs> you didn't need a code for it. Yeah. Sidebar on Charles Barkley. If you haven't watched Charles Barkley golfing, I highly recommend it. Chat, go Google that real quick. So we're not really saying anything important anyway. <laughs> hey, you know that I collect cards, right? And yeah. So the uh, there's a card brand. It's it's called a uh, Mosaic, and uh, I collect NBA cards, right? And so. They actually have this remembrance of the NBA Jam. It's, they're called Jam Master Card. Mm. And they still, to this day, they'll put big heads on uh, on the current players on That's these cards. Funny. It's pretty cool. So real quick, John was saying uh, he had one. Uh, I believe he was talking about the Dreamcast, I think, because that comment's a couple yeah. minutes old. Best game he played on it was Time Crisis by Namco. What about oh, that, Tim? Oh, man, I forgot oh, about Time Crisis. Dude. Holy yeah. smokes. And then yeah. ESPN Sunday Night Football. So those old school football games, like you can't get NCAA. Well, actually, crazy they're taxi. about to release. Bring, don't talk about Crazy, crazy Taxi. taxi. <laughs> yeah. They need to. They need Dude. to bring that back out. They have Taxi Chaos. And I think that's supposed to be like yeah. a, a remake, like a non-branded remake. But they really just like if these companies wanted to make like money, they need to hit the nostalgia people that have money like us middle-aged people middle class like hit us with these like bring back 007 golden eye make a servers so you can play against other players clean up the graphics confirm 40 bucks there isn't a person on the planet that wouldn't drop 40 bucks on an old game like that i think like, that one's confirmed like they're uh, they make 007 well, they we'll rebuilt see. the game on the unreal engine so it's it's already completely been it's been rebuilt. It's just they they didn't release. They had, it's not a release. It's some some off uh, some some you know uh, a fan project. Yeah, it's a it's a fan project. Just like what I, I sent you on the remake of Ocarina of Time. You see, oh yeah, that video I sent you. Yeah, they put uh, a lot uh, of work into that. Super yeah, Ultra yeah. HD. Yep, really? man, that Unreal Engine Five, dude, it's sick. Holy smokes. Yeah. I mean, they wow. could do this. I'm just saying from the standpoint, of, you don't have to have like, and I love that the fans do this stuff. Like, by no means am I saying anything against that. I'm saying like the major producer, the major players in the game, Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, like bring back some of these nostalgic titles. Like I text him the other day, there's a Cowabunga collection coming out this summer. It's going to have almost every Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game ever made on it. Like that's crazy. I gotta buy it on the PlayStation Five because mine and Tim's PlayStation Fives are linked, so we can play together. Turtles in Space or whatever the arcade one. Like dude, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. He has the original Nintendo uh, Turtles where it's like under the dam swimming. They said they fixed some of that stuff, so it's not so hard to swim and get tied up in the electric seaweed. But yeah, that was crazy. That was yeah, like many deaths and, and yeah. I don't know oh, if dude, any... they have a uh, hyper hyperstone heist on that when you were sending it to it. So that's that was actually originally released on the Sega as well. And is that, that a turtle game? Like... Yeah, yeah, it's it's extremely hard. All those turtle games are so hard. Like they were so difficult. Yeah, even the arcade version. The arcade one was so dope, but it was it was put tough. a lot of quarters like, into that one. For like, all you Rock kids. Steady. For all you kids, we had to put quarters into those things. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you fought, uh, who you fought in a small room with a drill come through the floor? It was Rocksteady or Bebop? Man, I think it's Rocksteady. Get out, Bebop. Man, I'm telling you, he did this charge that you could not dodge. Like, you jump over his head (laughs) and it's still like the hitbox is so wide on that. It was crazy. It, it was made for you to keep putting quarters in. So oh, yeah, for sure. Down halfway, put some more quarters in. Down <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, bring them back out, clean them up a little bit. And I think this will be like a 40 ish dollar game. But, like, not taking away from the new stuff. Like, I've got a serious, like, I cannot wait for, like, this 2K22, the WWE that just released. Like, yeah. today, last night, unless you bought the Ultimate Edition or whatever. I'm waiting for it to go on sale. 
dude that i think that's gonna be seriously good content for streaming i think it's just gonna be fun to play i'm not really into wrestling but it looks like so much fun there's so many options and like this is a game that i'm super excited about and it's a very much a current game but some of those older games like i said there's just so much meat on the bone for gamers to just go back and i don't like they tried to redo some of them like the grand theft auto trilogy they just came out with was a really bad release uh, most everybody that played it said just play it on your 360 or whatever like it's better not cleaned up so yeah. they have messed up some re-releases and it's definitely one of those things like put the time into it and if it's going to cost money make it cost money like most gamers are like dude that's fine i'll pay extra you see i'm i'm not a fan of re-releases if they're just ports like i, I need an entire rework remaster you know what i mean like it, I, same game but i, I need current graphics I days. like the ports of like the, how the Switch has NES, SNES, mm -hmm. Sega now, N64, like portable all away. That's fine. There's just some of them that are like I said, GoldenEye would be a really good opportunity to re-release it, polish it, and actually have servers where you can play other people. That would be way, that'd be a lot of fun. It's a guilty pleasure kind of game, you know? Like every once in a while you play yeah, Tecmo yeah, Bowl because it's just fun. It. They need to make it to where it's still not online and we still have to go to each other's houses and plug up, you know, four different remotes. And we all <laughs> no, have no, to sit no. there and get, get our munchies on and play that freaking game. That's exactly screen what screen watch they... each other. <laughs> so, Are we you were... watching my screen, Jay? <laughs> screen you watching. watching? <laughs> you, you screen watcher? You screen watcher, Jay? Yeah, man. So we were talking last week about land parties. Like Halo changed the world, bro. Like multiple oh, yeah. TVs, Halo, Halo multiple systems, like that is an iconic situation. But I mean, if it, you know, we were doing that before Halo, just on a smaller scale, you know. But Halo was just like, oh, arcade. let's take this up Hell to eleven. Yeah. yeah, kill the arcades. Yeah, it killed the arcades. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to say. Like all when you're talking about these re-releases, like Ninja Turtles and things like that, like. Dude, there's a lot these uh, there's a new generation of gamers so i don't know if they can handle those games you know what i mean like me, those games were tough like real yeah. tough you know what i mean and dude did you see did you see where from software re released a uh, apology to the public saying we're sorry that we made our game so hard no like, i just saw a <laughs> lot of memes about kids sucking it because, up <laughs> because people were complaining hardcore on not being able to beat this game like you know what i mean because it's just not a simple run through and yeah. i think i made this comment on that that stream i watched half y'all stream last time but you know what i mean like mega man dude you got i mean even dang go back to super mario would you start off you start off with five lives if you died five times, which is super easy, you go back to the beginning, like mm -hmm. not even to the next level, like to the beginning, like you know what I mean. That when you we got the I don't think it was three lives with chilling. NES. Is it three? Yeah, because with and, SNES Mario World, you could. Uh, did you have to start all the way over? Or did you start the last? Oh, you started the last checkpoint. Like you had to beat a yeah, castle, had, like, or you had to beat a ghost yeah. house. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I know Super Mario World. I mean, because I've been playing it on uh, on my Switch. Yeah, like if you, I mean, I get it. You got the the pause screen now on the switch, which <laughs> yeah. makes life so much better. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But if you do die more more than your lives, then you have to start all the way back to the very bottom island, a very a very bottom uh, stage, and you got to work your way up again. Okay. So, Good days. You got to find those secret levels with the Yoshi's and just keep running, and get your extra lives, dude. On Mario realize. One, that you just rock the turtle on that second. It took so that was challenging, man. Two. That was challenging. Yeah, one dash two. Yep. But a lot of people didn't know if you if you did that and got a hundred lives, then they put you back to one. It was over. Yeah, it was over. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the, we were talking about last stream too. It was like the. Oh, the I didn't um, know that. What What was that? Well, explain that. Let's say you're rocking the turtle, and okay. you're counting. If you hit a hundred. Cause you know they start going in like Roman Greek letters or something. Like once you pass a certain number of uh, lives, if you get up to a hundred and die, the game is over. Wow! I didn't so know if that. you go to the next zone and you fall in a hole, game over. Yeah, you gotta stop at like ninety-eight. Stop at ninety-eight. Yeah. Crazy. It's easy Little to known, fall in a hole. Nineteen eighty-five Nintendo fact: You get a hundred lives in Mario, you're dead, son. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Contra Konami code. Like, where did we learn 
the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, VA select start. Let me see. Uh, the, the streets in my neighborhood. Somebody, like one of the kids out there, knew the code, and that's where I got it from. Yeah, it was word it was of mouth back the same then. Guy, yeah, it was probably the same guy that that told me how to beat King Hippo on Mike Tyson punch out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Super punch uh, and uh, Mike Tyson's punch out, like, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was still cussing at my TV over Super Punch Out the other day. Like, <laughs> I play it on like, stream sometimes, but still, but that would yeah, be another. Dude. That'd be another arcade cabinet that I would have is Mike Tyson's Punch Out. That's mm. a good one. I might just have to so get one. So fun, tap. man. That was just a dude, great game back in the day. Even my daughter, she gets into it. She's like, oh, you can do it, Daddy. I'm like, all right, here. Here you go. You do it. And she's like, no, 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 no. No, no, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> Where, I think I was over you at your house when you were playing the tiger guy, and you have to duck down, pew, 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 and then he's like, bow, 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 and you can knock him out. I, I, I remember the arcade for that had punch out the the first Ninja Turtles that got ported to console and uh, Mario Brothers on the same one. Oh yeah. yeah, you put Those your money in, you comments. select the game you want to play. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was crazy. That Walmart had cheat code books. That's where I got most of my codes. Uh, maybe it was Ram, <laughs> it was your buddy John, who uh, was giving you the codes. <laughs> well, remember, remember back in the day, they used to have the Nintendo magazine. Yeah, Nintendo Power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo Power, and so like my my brother was actually a subscriber to that dude. He still got he still got pretty much majority of all of those that he would receive. But I mean, they Dang. had cheat co- they had cheat codes, walkthroughs, all kinds of stuff in those in those magazines. So that's how that's how that information got to people before the yeah. internet. Yeah, then word I, of mouth. Like we said last little podcast, like uh, Kroger's had the store grocery store <laughs> had the Game Pro magazines. We used to walk over there with a pen and paper. He was the little kid in, in National Kombat Treasure. Stuff. Yeah. He's running right in, down. writing stuff down, and running back out. <laughs> Hey, hey man, we hey you you didn't have money back then, man, right? Yeah. Um, my, my mom favorite... wasn't about to buy a game. No. Oh. Oh, mm. oh my gosh. I don't even. My parents, uh, they didn't understand video games or anime. They didn't understand any of it that I really liked. It was the right. whole funny part. Did you all remember Game Genie? Hell yeah. Dude, Game Genie man made life so much easier for a lot of those games. Game was and Game Shark after that. For me. What's that? Was Game Shark for a different system at the same time, or was that later? Was it a different brand? Because the Game Genie was, was on this brand, maybe. Yeah. I remember, I thought the Game Shark was later and it had more options. Game Genie was just put codes in and put your cartridge in the Game Genie. It had that little strap on to hold it when you put them both in. Yeah. Yep. What about Sega Channel? I had one friend with the Sega Channel. What's that? It was a uh, subscription. It was like, say it's Netflix, you just watch whatever movie you want. This one, you say if you had the Sega channel, you was can that play on cable? whatever game release. Yeah, on cable. You play whatever game release through your Sega wired to the uh, cable. What system was that on? What? Sega Genesis. You could hook the Genesis up to internet? Or did you had coax? You it well, it was coax, but... What? It was just, it was like maybe ten dollars a month or whatever, fifteen dollars oh, a month. Second, dude, I gotta go get my second Genesis because I need yeah, to, look, I need to, I need to figure that out, man. That's crazy. Yeah, look up, look up. Uh, nineteen ninety four. The Sega Channel was provided to the public by TCI Time Warner Cable through cable television services by way of coaxial cable, pay to play service through which customers access Game Genie games. Hold on, I gotta click the channel to go further. Uh, oh ba, 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 ba. online banking terminal. It allowed Sega MegaNet in Japan operating through a cartridge yeah, and a peripheral called say. the Mega Modem. I kind of remember that the Mega Modem. I think I might have seen that somewhere. Yeah, I, uh, that's where I played like Golden X Three. It wasn't released out here, but it was it was released in Japan. Like all the Japan releases was on Sega. It Channel. was fifteen bucks a month with a twenty five dollar activation fee, which included the adapter. Uh, let's see, the Sega Channel Dude, expanded you know how in many Canada. Skittles I bought with my allowance. I would have paid. I would have bypassed yeah. Skittles. 
<laughs> for for that if I had known that existed. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Wow. The Sega Channel, and you had like it was so many games on there that you would never play them all. Like, yeah, like it, I say, I, I played Golden Axe three, bro. I only knew about two of them yeah. until I saw that. I was already wow. a big fan of Sega Genesis, but you made just now made me fall in love with it a little bit more. Like mm-hmm. that's 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 so cool that they made that available. Yeah, and now now we got like what, uh, Game Pass, and, and then you got the uh, the one with Google. Uh, is it Google or Amazon that has the? Uh, come on, man, help me out. I just know that you have PlayStation. The platform Plus, that Play- you don't have to have a console. You just got. Oh, have it's uh, yeah. Nvidia has the. Yeah, Nvidia thing. got the same thing. Um, and then uh. Well, you could do that on Stadia. 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 Yeah. Stadia. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you could do that on these next gen consoles. I mean, I don't even have to barely download a game. I can just stream a game on my PlayStation Five, off of yeah, the you know too. Game Passes. Dude, so, and they're. Yeah. They got some pretty decent games. I will say that the Xbox Game Pass though wins over the PlayStation Plus, like hands down subscription. Like and I, so I converted. Like I know you guys are PC gamers. I'm I'm a console gamer. I just I love it. I don't know whatever. It brings me back to those those old days, right? Every single time. And uh, like when I switched from the Xbox to the PlayStation Five, because you know I. I was originally going to buy both, but I was like, I'm not going to have time to play both. Yeah. It's not, yeah. you know? So I made the commitment. Like, it was like switching from, like, Android to iPhone, I felt like, in my in my brain. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, che- I'm cheating on somebody, right? <laughs> and um, I love it. I love the PlayStation. The PlayStation 5 is just the best, like, to me. And, I think it is. But hands down, the Game Pass is better than the PlayStation Plus. And they I think they're merging the PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now or whatever because there's yep. two subscriptions. Yeah, they're getting they're rid gonna... of the PlayStation Now uh, and those games will be on the Plus. Uh, well, it just they, gets they, they learned a lesson. So yeah. they learned a lesson. Like, because even with the, the Game Pass, like, <clears throat> I got it on PC or whatever. Well, you the Ultimate I mean? Game and Pass, because can... you have a Game Pass and then you have the Ultimate Game Pass, which is going to be PC console you know, so and I believe you can, the, you can uh, get Xbox it just Live. for PC. You can get it just for PC, but you don't get every game on there. And if you get the Not every game, yeah, if you get the uh, if you get the Ultimate Game Pass, you get a lot more triple A's. Like uh, I got fours of five when it came out. I got Halo, and then uh, I didn't know uh, until after I bought it. But Extraction was on there too. Was the last triple A. So they come out with like a triple A every like two or three months. So it's really mm-hmm. worth the money. And then you got all the other games. Like, there's <clears throat> honestly, I tell customers all the time if you got good internet and a good hard drive for this Xbox One, you're not moving up to the Xbox Series X. Just invest in the Ultimate Game Pass. Save yourself some money. I understand there's going to be games you want to play, but invest in the Game Pass and check. Like, because there's a lot of AAA. Like, Halo Infinite was awesome. Great game. Forza Horizon 5, awesome game. Extraction really neat concept didn't get enough play like i didn't get enough people to play with me because it's kind of slower and a little dry but it's wicked fun so like you know they always have good games like uh state of decay 2 was on there a couple years ago when i was really playing the game pass like that's a good zombie game so i'm just saying like game pass i think is the way to go dude i'm hoping with sony buying up like bungie that maybe there's some good action coming that that way I agree with you. State of Decay, the first one was super fun. Like, I enjoyed it a um, And so much that my wife watched me play it. But then the second one came out, and it was oh, thanks, it was, it was, it was a let, let down. What a hell of a segue. <laughs> so real quick, guys, so, I, I, wanna, I just want to interject real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be afraid of that blue thumbs up button. Smash it like you're mad at it. Go ahead and share the stream to all your friends, family, loved ones. Uh, worst enemies we don't care we're here to just entertain people but we really do appreciate the support back into the chat where are we at boys you ready to, yeah, to sir, segue into quick. the yeah go ahead yeah uh lasso appreciate you for the like scholar with the like sunny v appreciate you ken folk blue dog with the follow over on twitch i appreciate y'all man x yeah as well on my side jay what's up jay what's that plat boy plays and timmy pop hi thanks me? for liking the stream i do feel you so I appreciate y'all jumping in as well to uh, show the love. Now, 
something Tim was just saying was like having to make a decision because he doesn't have time, which that's as an older gamer, which I know don't be fooled by this gray hair. I'm really 25. So, but I work a lot. So <laughs> at the end of the He's day, the gas. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've been muting a lot of those on the gases. If you know what you're I mean, hiding some, <laughs> you're hiding some of those other years in that beard. I hear, I see it. Yeah. yeah man. So sidebar, uh, Little funny joke. Uh, Taco Bell is the only place you can still get gas for a dollar thirty nine, but don't boom. Uh, but I got you. <laughs> you, st- you stupid dude. <laughs> what, what I want, what I wanted to talk about, really. Well, I say I. What we wanted to talk about. This is actually Jay's idea, but I'm just bogarting. Um, and you brought you brought up that point. I don't have enough time. So how? as a gamer who is not a young gamer with less responsibilities, you have two beautiful kids, a beautiful wife, fantastic house. And, and these avenues, these entrepreneurial avenues that you're diving into to grow yourself and, and make really like we've talked about legacy before, like you're putting your stamp on the world. Where does gaming come into that? Because those are huge time investments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, you are hold on you were talking to me right that those were all all that's all about me i thought you were talking it's about all three of us you're <laughs> probably more fancy than me i can't really speak for jakes i don't know no. everything that he's up to but me and you've been we, we talk a lot. no you're good man I, honestly dude i love it um i've turned my wife into a nerd she's super fun like she watched me i think witcher 3 honestly turned my wife into someone that likes gaming uh between like i told you i didn't have internet there for a long time so witcher 3 dragon age like all of these games um really kind of helped help that out and so she would we were poor at the time and we had one tv and uh she obviously would, i wanted to play and she was she you know she she did something that was amazing she she's like hey i want to watch you play that game i go are you yeah. sure? Are you sure? <laughs> like, <laughs> can I get this in writing? <laughs> like, what the hell? I, and then, like, I would play, and I'm, I remember she got me an Xbox. She got me that Xbox for uh, Christmas, right? And I got the Xbox a little bit later than other people. We were tied on money, and um, when I got it, I remember her taking a picture of me. I looked so happy. I was like, this is a little boy in a candy store, right? And <laughs> when I when I started playing The Witcher, I actually originally started playing Black Flag which was also really good. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but I remember playing Witcher 3 in front of her, and then the next day, she, her saying that, hey, hey, are you going to play your game? <laughs> wow. She was liking watching the movie. It's like, um, yeah, 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 I am. Like, yeah, I'm going to play my game. Yeah, you know what I mean? And <laughs> What's the so catch? <laughs> it, it, became, it became like a, like a nightly thing. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and she would actually help me, you know, and – it was kind of a cool thing, man. Like, oh. it, like <laughs> if I would get if I would get stuck in uh, certain situations in a video game, she would she would be the one that would look it up, like look it up online, and be like, hey. And, and then I would be like, hey, don't tell me straight up what it is. <laughs> Just, Just give me a clue. Give me a little hint. You know what I mean? <laughs> she, she became my navvy, dude. Like, uh, you know, what hey, I mean? like, listen, hey, listen. <laughs> um, so you know that was sick. You know and. Ever since then, it's always been something that she's supported for me. She knows that it's an outlet. She knows that, you know, I'm a very busy person. I've always been a very busy person with work. So when I do come home and we're not partying or hanging out with friends, that I want to play, I want to play some video games, you know? And when I get locked in, I got I to gotta get it. Like, you know, right now, like I'm itching to go back to Elden Ring. I'm, I got to, I got to beat that game. I've got 100% <laughs> it. You know what I mean? Like, that's my, that's my goal right now. And I can't move on until it happens. So, you know, she she she'll enjoy watching Elden Ring with me right now. So, and then as far as my kids go, Pokemon was like a huge, huge outlet for my daughter. You know, we collect Pokemon cards. She loves getting on the uh, the Switch. You know, before that, we had the Wii U. And nobody nice. talked about the damn Wii U. You know what I mean? That thing was. It's the same thing. The Wii U and the Switch are the same. Dude, Nintendo's just, uh, brilliant. I'm sorry. They're just, they're built, just brilliant. They're just but, Dude, that, uh, that game, like, uh, my kids were playing it. Uh, I think it's called just Mario Brothers U, Wii U or whatever. 
but like somebody can be holding the tablet portion of the Wii U and everybody's trying to get through the end of the course and somebody just throws up a wall when they're trying to jump over a pit so they hit the wall and fall into a hole. I'm like, dude, that's such a jerk play. Like, but that's hilarious and I would love to have a turn at that. <laughs> dude, hey man, um, those Lego games is what got you know, got my daughter, and my daughter's 10 now, and she, dude, she's, she's good, she is, she is a great video, she's a great gamer, man, it's like, um, I remember, I was surprised playing. when she beat the first boss of Arceus without asking for help, I was like, you really beat the dude, first boss? this girl, this girl can beat my ass in, uh, I'm freaking, um, 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 what is it, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name, because you, um, a brain fart, uh, where you fight, um, you, a, you a whole bunch of different uh, characters on Nintendo. It's been it's been that way since the '64. Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like a really great game. I love that game. And I used to not. I would not let her win. She would get so mad at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, she would get in tears. She'd be so mad. And um, my wife would be like, "Hey, why don't you take it easy on her?" I'm like, "No, dude." No, gotta, you gotta learn yeah, to win the right way. Up. She's got to step up. And now she can wipe the floor with me, man. She's so good. Um, so, but that's the, it, it, side so note bring, on that. It, 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 it's involved with my family. That answers right. your question. My whole family is involved with gaming now because I love it and they love me. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. So, man, my, so, my go at it. Let me, let me go ahead. Go ahead, man. Uh, okay. My kids play games, all of them, except my oldest three daughters they're you know teenage and don't have time for it or whatever that's what they say to me you know why like, you don't like playing come play with that no like they were like we too old for that but uh here i am 39 still kicking it you know what i'm saying but uh i have a hard time <laughs> finding time to play like it, it might not look like it and i and i almost can play every day but what she would like, I thought we were watching a movie tonight. And I'd be like, I'm on the last boss. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, and then like after that, it just drag on and drag on to where I didn't watch the movie or something like that. But nowadays what I do, uh, say if I'm off and I want to play or stream or whatever, I make sure that like the trash taken out. If the grass is high, I cut the grass, uh, wash the cars, uh, sweep the floor like that way she can't say i'm just playing games and not doing nothing else you know yeah. what i'm saying so, <clears throat> like i make sure something is done like before i actually sit down and get on unless i'm at like if i work that day i shower game or shower eat game in, you know whatever order but uh you know what i'm saying like it's 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 pretty tough like it, it's to the point where like She'll look me in the eyes and be like, "You about to go play the damn game," and you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going through with it. But it's not, it's not like bad. I, mean, I hope I'm not making it sound like that. It's not bad. No, 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 you know no, what no, I'm no. saying? Like she, like okay, because you know, my thing is my outlet is my outlet. Yours is yours. Like she likes to watch binge watch shows and movies, and you know that ain't really my thing. This is my thing. So I'm like, we're burning our time the way we like to burn it. And that kind of made it make sense to her. I'm like, I don't like watching uh, movies all day, but you do. You don't like playing games, but I do. That's the way we burn our time. You know what I mean? Like, what up, yeah, Angie? We go out on dates and we do all that good stuff. And we, we jump out there and, uh, you know, do things with, you know, the outside family and everything. So yeah. I think I found a way to, like, even it out. Especially what really got her is when I got the first check from Facebook for streaming. <laughs> and Look, then man. she was like, okay, I see what you're doing now. Because, like, I, I took that money and I, like, paid the light bill with it or something like that. And I'm like, see? You know what I'm saying? I'm... <laughs> now she can't really fuss at me about it. Like, if I'm gaming, she say, you know, I hear on the phone with people sometimes, oh, girl, he on that damn game, but at least he's getting paid for it. But you know what I'm saying? That's it, it, it. I found a balance to it now. I gotta commend you because, <clears throat> I, you know, I've never, I've, ne I've been an avid gamer, but I've never thought about it, you know, as uh, into business. You know right. what I mean? Like, and I'm, I have an entrepreneurial mindset. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a way to make money from something, I typically do. But I never brought video games into that 
methodology. I've never really, I've never, I, I mean, I, I think I've dabbled, but I, for y'all to make it actually a job, you know what I mean? Because that's what it is. And you're, you have your jobs already, and yeah. you have your your family and your life, and you're trying to build something, you know, from that. That's so cool because a lot of people don't realize how hard it is to actually put yourself out there, you know? We talked and, about that last week. Hey, you're juggling all three. You're juggling, you're juggling family, life, and it's basically a, 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 a hobby, you know what I'm saying? Trying to mold the hobby into a, a you know, a income. And not necessarily, like, I do it for fun, but I just happen to get something on the side with it. Now, if it blows, yeah. it blows, you know? And I and I treat it like, you know, like it's a professional production. Like when I go live, you know, I make sure I'm cleaned up and you know what I'm saying, like presentable. And you know, we rock. Man, I haven't shaved not, in six not, months. Not like Sunny over here. <laughs> not like Sunny over here. All, Gandalf the front gray. <laughs> the only, front gray. Right I got here. I got something on the side. There's some on the side. Shout out to Angie and Mike. Triple gray. Like, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? CT, what's up, baby? Oh, CT's here. Nice. The Blue Regard. What's up, baby? I don't so, know. I, I, go I, ahead. I, like, so Kelly will, she likes some games herself. And that was that was kind of one of those things we dabbled in. There was like a little, uh, I was on the Xbox. It was um, like a pin, Viva Pinata. Oh, Have my God. My kids played that one. It. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I remember getting it, and uh, I ended up buying it from GameStop. It was, you know, it was like a, oh, this is a cheap game. It looks cute. I'm going to buy it for my daughter, and then I'm going to help her learn how to play it. Well, you know, there's a lot involved in that game. I mean, you got to grow stuff. You got to catch stuff and all that kind of stuff. Well, my, my wife really liked the game, and, and then I would come in, you know, from work, and I'd see her, you know, on the game, playing the game, and I think that, you know, her finding something like that kind of makes you makes her understand where I come from, you know, why I like that, why I like that feeling. Like, I feel like I've accomplished something outside of just being here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a uh, comment from a uh, blue dog. He said, yep, I feel you 100% Platt. I've been playing games from the age of around eight. And when I started dating my wife, I had to make it perfectly clear that I was a gamer and that what, what most of my personal free time would most likely go to if nothing else was said beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I should have did that at first because I just like, pow, uh, Halo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just popped on the scene, like, because when we first got together, like, I didn't have a system at that time. Like, but I was an avid gamer before that. This was like 2011 or something. I took a break from like 11 to... 2012 or th whenever we played started playing star wars online sonny is when i got back like with the pc and stuff oh kotor and, uh, yeah no 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 the, the online one the online oh is i keep thinking like, to the old republic no, uh, no hold it was on the online version because me you and star wars yeah we uh, josh josh bailey Josh, yeah then we have uh we played hot ball all the time yeah, yeah. Oh, our uh, guild name was what? What in the hut? Yeah. And then uh, what? Else, what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. So it was uh, yeah, Squator, the, old, the, old yeah. the old Republic, and, uh, which is still up and running and free to play and not too shabby, folks. Yeah. So when we were to, thanks so much for those stars, yeah, Angie. Yeah, appreciate you, Angie, for the stars. And um, uh, like one day. Uh, they had this girl selling like brand new Xbox 360s for like 120 bucks. Oh, that's like, a scam. Oh, I'm back. I'm, <laughs> like, so I bought one, popped up in the house with it, plugged it up, and like from then it was over. She was like, oh, no, we can't do this all day, every day. And you know what I'm saying? And we've been together almost 12 years. And like, it's, Dang. It's, I found the balance. I found the balance. You I think, think that's the biggest key. type of games? that she likes or no no i'm saying like so if i played gears of war still like okay so when gears of war first came out dude i was I like i loved gears of war it was yeah that was a crazy game i i freaking played it all the time and i'm i gotta tell you i was very violent i like screamed at the tv i you know because i played multiplayer um mm -hmm. and that was that was what I, he was I passionate chat very passionate 
I was <laughs> very passionate. You have no understanding. I still like right now have PTSD from that game because I want to. <laughs> I want to cuss at cuss at you guys right now because of it. But what I'm saying is, is that you know, if I were to play it like that, you know, in this house, probably would be a problem. You know, like. I think balance is the key, though. Like you guys have both brought up inadvertently, being a gamer, <clears throat> being an adult, you know, being a breadwinner, if you will, you know, you've got to do your, you know, I don't mean to make this sound, you know, sexist or anything, but, you know, being the man of your household, you need to make sure that you have your priorities in check. Otherwise, you risk a lot of things, you know. Um, well, I will say shameless plug that uh ladies you can put your applications in i'm a good looking single man but back in previous relationships if you didn't balance it you know <laughs> you, you you ran afoul of things and you know like you have to and that was one of the things like just in my last long-term relationship was early in the relationship for the majority of the time even when things started going sideways still had that balance where it's like i'll stop playing let's hang out kind of deal so i mean sometimes you 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 want to play like get that 100 percent elden ring but it's like i gotta watch this chick flick all right i'll just <laughs> do my best to enjoy it and not like google videos and stuff while i'm Man, watching it i'm, I'm, I'm gonna just <laughs> say it one time give and take if i had to choose between the game i'm gonna choose the game so hold on one sec. If you had to choose between oh, the game no and the and the oh, what? Oh my god! I gotta get off this. I, I'm I'm jumping off because I'm, I'm, I, that makes me guilty by association. Thanks, Tommy. I, th thanks, Jay. You've just caused all kinds of problems for me. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing this. So I had a no, soundbite no. come through on that question, and seeing as I'm ripping this audio, I just want to make sure we understand that God has intervened on your behalf jay so that no one listening to this podcast will hear what you were choosing the game over yeah. oh dude for sure if i said something like that i would have to sleep with one one eye open i was surprised that like a flip-flop didn't come flying into his cam and just, bam, know, just uh, knock him with his big head <laughs> he's like oh yeah Pat, you sleeping on the couch tonight <laughs> it's like you sleeping on the porch tonight <laughs> Yeah, man. Nah, just star flip flop just sticks into his PC, just like, like. I, I just, I just want to, I just wanted to stir it up a little bit, but now nah, we, she's, she's a good person, and we, she look out real good. <laughs> like sometimes I'm playing and like turn around back here on the desk right here is a, is a plate fix. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's more of a thing. Like especially when I'm streaming, she like totally respects it. So. That's super nice. If you, if you yeah. honestly think that my wife loves me playing games all the time, then that's no. a lie. You know what I mean? That's no, for sure. A lie. Yeah. Right, right. Sonny's been over here. He knows the fear of God. And it isn't the fear of God, really. It's really Kelly, my my wife. She <laughs> is she's the fear. But I help right. out as much as I can to like get Lizzie playing because then me and Tim can play too. Dude, this dude comes to my house. Yeah. You gotta freaking sanitize the couch because he he just just destroys that thing. That that low. lemon <laughs> that lemon and hot water and honey concoction you gave me destroyed me. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I, uh, Amanda, I, you could. I mean, uh, literally, a hot air balloon could take off to the <laughs> next planet from this dude. That's why I'm not complaining about gas prices. I'm good. <laughs> dude. I got. They say. He gonna get sponsored by Gas X. He gonna be on the, <laughs> on the stream. He gonna this is first sponsor Gas X. This Egg. video is brought to you by Gas X. <laughs> <laughs> Take Vino before the stream. There'll be no gas no, later. Yeah. So I want I want to know just real quick sidebar, Tim. What is reflecting the Mickey Mouse behind you in the doors? <laughs> is that something inside the living room? No, so my, that's my son. He uh, they your put, son's uh, Mickey Mouse. No. Oh, behind it. That's a that's a fish tank. That's a fish tank behind there. Oh, you have a Mickey Mouse fish tank for, for your boy. Uh, okay, so the Mickey Mouse here is a basketball. Like a basketball goal. goal. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 Yeah. So when oh, he's in cool. here, he, he's you know, tightening he, up the jumper. He could, yeah, okay. he could be a and one in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. that's good. This was up. He moves his head a little bit, and I'm like, 
Is that a Mickey Mouse behind Tim? What's going on? I was just there. Kind of creepy, right? Like, yeah, it was a little oh. bit. Like, I had a Mickey Mouse calculator from Radio Shack. Tells you how old I am. I've earned these gray hairs. I had to save up for hey, that so, one too. Sonny, what what did uh when you were in your past relationship, like how did she feel about you like streaming, like in the you know the time you wanted to put aside for it? So there's this can turn into a really deep conversation with a couple of tangents, so be prepared. I was kind of worried about getting into this one. Yes, sir. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to preface this by answering your question. Mm -hmm. When I first started <laughs> streaming, because we discussed this on the stream, like what got us into streaming. When I first started streaming, yeah. I was streaming seven days a week. I was streaming any chance I could get because... The only thing I could think of was streaming was like sales and it's a percentage game. If you're on and people are watching, maybe you're going to do something that's going to hit enough people where one person tells another person tells another person. So I streamed, I was on Twitch and it took me like, I'm not kidding you, dude. It took me over a year to get 150 followers to get affiliate. Like it took me a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. it was a grind and I'm like, so this is going to get into my next point. Something that, is real easy to uh i gotta drink it soda pop sorry mm. the uh it's real easy to back off and this is just a life in general thing but it's real easy to just let off the gas and be like you know what okay i got affiliate i made a 100 bucks over a year and a half this is a bad time investment there's other things i could be doing but it was something that i was already playing video games and i was having fun conversations with my friend and friends and I thought we could bring some joy to the world as far as entertaining people and, you know, impact lives and whatever. But there's been times where I'm just like, man, I, I, I just don't have what it takes, you know? So I took a break because it's like, you're streaming too much. It's becoming a problem. So we're going to get on less of a schedule. So we go to like five days, but it's like, well, I'm going to miss something, you know, the FOMO, I'm going to miss something. If I'm not streaming, I'm going to miss that one viewer that's going to take me over the edge and, and I'm going to be famous, there. you know, overnight, yeah. you know? And so after a while, it just, it kind of got pretty frustrating to where I was no longer having fun streaming. Yeah. And it was did, worse when than you said, uh, when you said you were doing it, uh, too much, like you were going to, the way I look at it is like, like I'm going to play games anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, that same time that I, I would probably play, I just push go live with it now. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, we felt like we were going to miss something or, uh, you know what I mean? Like, like, uh, you know, if I'd stream one more hour, I might get another follower or something like mm -hmm. that. But now I just stream, you know, I don't care if anybody watches now, you know what I'm saying? I'm just be me, uh, you know, have fun with it. If somebody want to play watching the stream, jump in. And like, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, you know, streaming is the same amount of time I would be doing with games anyway, because I'll still be playing if I wasn't streaming. So it's just like anything in life. If you put too much pressure on yourself to be something that's like, it's got to be organic. People right, right. aren't going to watch a stream where you're trying too hard and you're not having fun. And, and like we talked about in the last, you know, podcast, just to get everybody back up to speed. Like, it's not just click go live. And we hang out and watch, you know, I play video games and people just watch and they come into chat and I interact with them. Like right. <clears throat> originally when you start streaming, you stream to zero viewers unless you get your friends to just put it on their phone. And so right. you're literally on the whole time. So there's not like you have to be on, you have to be playing your game to do good. You have to be watching the screen to make sure you're not missing out on chats. Cause if somebody likes the stream and you don't thank them, you know, it's like, well, this guy's just not a good streamer. He didn't even acknowledge me. They probably He's, won't come back. Yeah. They probably won't come back. So you got to get in the habit and then you're talking with people in your ear. So, and then it's like, you have to, you know, we're doing this podcast with three and a half people and there's chats that we have to, you know, talk, you know, and interrupt and thank people for the stars. Thank people for the likes, the shares, the follows, you know? So it's not just a click, go live. And it's all just super fun it's a chore so imagine i'm working like me and tim used to work together and side note guilt not guilty pleasure but uh i forget what that's called uh when you put a shameless plug in if you need a good security system talk to my man timmy pot pie over here he's gonna get you taken care of but we used Damn. to 
we used to run regions, you know, of security system installers. This video is brought to you by <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. So no. <laughs> we we would get up early in the morning and then work all day and and most of the time back then our day didn't end until possibly 10 11 12 o'clock at night but i'd start streaming after dinner like i'd stream from like 6 30 7 o'clock till 10 o'clock every night so it was already stressful you know like i'm trying to learn how to talk to nobody which is like wasn't that hard but it's like trying to stay on all the time and then you might have to Guys, I got to mute the stream because I'm about to put some personal information on here. Chair cam, you know, and it's like go bang out, like save a job and then get back online, play video games. So when there wasn't a break, it caused say def- three and a half people. Yeah, well, I mean, Blue, <laughs> Blue Dog's here, but he's not talking. <laughs> yeah. I was I was laughing about that, too, but I, I didn't want to interrupt his thing. I, like, that was good. It was good. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, to, to to dial it back into what we're talking about as far as like you know, your responsibilities, your priorities, man, I love gaming. Like I took, yeah. I've taken months off here. I've taken a year off before, you know, to focus on my kids. Cause my oldest kid came to live with me. You know, I've taken time off like just to heal my mind just last year where I barely played anything for like six months. And there's days where I feel guilty cause I played video games all, all day. And I'm like, you know what? I'm relaxing. I'm doing it for the right reason. I'm doing it for me. I'm not trying to escape. That used to be my thing. You know, I had some doo-doo in my head that I had not taken care of, and I was using games as a way of escaping. But now it's like, if I want to just relax and play Destiny all day because, you know, I worked a lot, I'm just going to take the day. I'll take a break, go do some laundry, you know, make my bed. Look at that. My sister was like, you made your bed? I was like, yeah, you better buy a lottery oh, ticket. Man. It's like, lightning you don't found, strike you, twice. You found your mental toilet paper. To wipe that doo doo off, yeah, out of your brain. <laughs> you see, crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a different, that's a different subject for another. You know, time. I got a question for you guys, just because I'm not a streamer. You know what I mean? Like, so is the idea behind streaming to get famous? No, not well for some. Yeah, it's like it would. If like I say, if it happens, it happens. But yeah, like, for me, when I, when I first started, it was just like. You know, I, I think I can stream, you know, let me try it. And it's been going decent, you know what I'm saying? Pretty good. For me, the streaming thing was just to be like a side hustle because I can be very ambitious and want to go put a lot of irons in the fire. But at the same time, I also like to just relax. And I have been playing yeah. video games my whole life, dang near. So like 43 years old, still being a pretty like semi pro gamer if it's semi hardcore gamer not semi pro at all but like just being that you know if there's something comes up somebody's like hey let's go get tacos and margaritas gotta go chat like yeah i, I, mean, yeah, I love me some margaritas and some tacos so we'll catch up with you later you know I, i'll yo, get out of the house like when i brother, can my brother like want to go to the club or, or go have drinks at the bar like i'm gone like it, it's not like attached to where i I can't do nothing else. It's just, yeah, no, you know. I mean, I, the reason why I ask that question is because, you know, I've I felt that experience, like, uh, streaming to the zero. You know what I mean? Streaming to the one. Streaming to the zero. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that that's, a, like, a whole, like, mental thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's – it takes a toll on you. are like, it changes your whole purpose, I think, because you start focusing on that, that zero or that one, you know? And, yeah, uh, it, it it can it can it can tear you up. Like when I first started, like it, you know, it's lonely. It's lonely in the beginning. But uh, like as I kept doing, when I first started, it was it was zero zero. Then you know, people from my hometown to jump in and watch people that I was playing with to pull it up, and and then just over and over. You know, like consistency. Now it's still not like I got a thousand viewers, a hundred viewers when I stream, but I may get. 20 to 30 people throughout the stream to come through. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it'd have been great. It'd be great if when I go live, like they all come in at the same time, but it's like scattered. Like I'll have four or five come in, like and share, chill out for a minute. Then they may have to leave. Then the next set of people, then yeah, one or two here, through. one or two there, you know, throughout the stream. And it's pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm good with it. Like if it's zero, like I said, if it's zero, I'm fine with it. Like it doesn't even affect me anymore. That's that's, that's cool. something I, I, I like had to, to incorporate. Do that with, 
I, li- I like to do it with Sonny because, like, I'll come in. Like, when I get a notification every time he goes live. So, like, I'll pop in and I'll say something. Bah, 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 and then I'll watch for, like, ten minutes. And then, you know, sometimes you're, like, trying to get your audio right. And I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to, like, throw you off. And then I'll, I'll bounce out. And then I'll bounce back in. You know what I mean? Like, I oh, like yeah. that idea. Yeah, yeah for it's sure. Just throughout. Like, I can't – I don't expect nobody – to sit there and watch the entire stream. Like, it, it would be great, you know, if you, you know, and then it's timing too. Like, yeah. if I stream at, at 11 o'clock in the morning, I might not get the same people that I get at 6 o'clock in the evening, you know. Yeah. So that's the work hours and stuff like that. But, you know, you get different people at different times also. So, like, if I stream late night, like overnight, like if it's like one in the morning, I'm getting a lot of people from like the Philippines. Like, <laughs> Stuff you can't pronounce. I'm like, I'm like, so and, sorry. Yeah, names, I can't pronounce yeah, your name. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I hope I'm not slaughtering your name. And, you know, it's, <laughs> but uh, Angie says, I, I enjoy watching the games and especially new releases. Keep the co- Keeps the conversation fresh when they come through in groups. Right. When they come in groups, it's like, I mean, y'all already lit in my chat, so it's like some crazy topics. I'm playing Destiny 2, but we're talking about, you know what I'm saying, that they talk about what color underwear I have on. So that was an actual conversation in my stream. I was like, what the fuck are we talking about underwear? You know what I mean? Like, it, You better answer it, that it, with, it, they better be yeah, paying I'm stars like, to get that answer. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just... Turn this into you show know, and tell. I call it. I call it cool booty. I free ball. Like cool you booty. know what I'm saying. Like I'll say something crazy <laughs> like that. Cool booty. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn a notification off for you, Mister J. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> Welcome to the co-op cast live podcast. Yeah, with a co-op crew live. You, you, you should see though. Cool booty and sunny typhoon. <laughs> cool booty. <laughs> I want to name. I want to. I want to put my name. Is switching from Timmy Popeye to Cool Booty. Cool Booty like, Tim. <laughs> cool but Booty I'm, Tim. But I'm, but I'm telling you, like a name like that, because it w- would get you views. Yeah. <laughs> like it's crazy. Like it, you, every every part of it is is calculated, and some of it, like you know, like I was Plat Boy gaming at first for like a year and a half, and now I'm Plat Boy plays. Like I felt like that just hit a little bit better and then seeing that all the other streamers or a lot of them like sunny he has just your sunny typhoon like that's what i was going for not necessarily plat boy who plays games you know what i mean like I didn't, uh, every other streamer has gaming in their name so i just wanted to change that up be di- be a little different nice. so angie said food channel and free booty all in the same stream we don't yeah, need we another three hours. Food, food conversation. That's me. Stream. Tim knows I always talk about food because that's my sales, like my my uh, icebreaker. But like, we don't need another three hour conversation about cereal. I don't think. I say we wow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Mike, don't Mike, uh, ask Mike and Ted when you come in. Like since you've been through one of those conversations before, do you expect? another wild conversation when you come in like you know if, if you go on plat boy streams the chat you know they're gonna be talking about something crazy mm-hmm. like do you feel like that when you come in mike and i'm, I'm just asking them in the chat y'all can talk y'all can go yeah, no, i think I like just, in my ahead. head i was thinking like you were saying mike and i was like cool booty mike that's what cool i was thinking booty in my head mike. and now i'm gonna start thinking about everybody's different name and i gotta find who's gonna be the best cool booty rebecca cool booty <laughs> Yeah, Some, somebody's got to be the best at this. Who's the best <laughs> cool booty? <laughs> oh man, you you got you got something that's gonna be stuck with me forever. What, what were you saying, Sonny? Uh, cool booty blew my mind. I don't even remember. <laughs> that. I think that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it's like, how how do you how do you jump off of that? Like, how do you top that? I'm about to just call the the, the podcast over. <laughs> Cool booties, do done. we're done. Off, you killed do you it. Jump off a cool booty. How do you? How do you? <laughs> is it the same way as a car? Oh, I was gonna. Okay, I remember. What I was gonna say. Yeah, so, Mike. Uh, yeah, Mike go ahead. said he does, doesn't expect uh, anything in my chat. So cool booty, Judy. <laughs> there's no limit. Cool booty, Judy. <laughs> yes. 
I'm starring yeah, that. Might. You get a hundred. Yeah, you get a hundred stars for Plat Boy plays just for that. Yeah. Good job, Angie. There's so, no limit in your stream. Yeah, it's we just try to do. We just try to do. Uh, I try not to like. I don't want the poli- political shit and like. Uh, we can know, talk like about that off the that Religion, yeah, yeah. and so I, I just want the chat to be fun. Like, you know, I can talk a little bit here and there, but it's really y'all that keep it going because you know. I haven't fully adjusted. Like, if I'm in Call of Duty and like there's five teams left, you hard, you have you know, to though. Like, comments. chat yeah, has yeah, yeah, to yeah, understand. Yeah. We'll get back to it because you don't. You want to see us win. You want winner winner chicken dinner. You don't want to see us be like, pause the game. Okay, chat. What's up? Like, no, we're in that. This is what you paid for. Like, then you get like what you paid win, for. Yeah. Kind of but like, I think for me personally, like, I didn't like to stream a lot without my friends being at least in discord because Man, it is <clears throat> it's so it really is and i've played some games like i've had some friends like why do you play this game and i'm like i can talk about this game because there's no one else to talk to so if you can't talk to people because i can sit here i do it all the time i talk to chat like chat's there there's nobody in chat like they can go and make sure it's like Sunny Typhoon streaming to like YouTube or Twitch. Who's he talking to? There's nobody there. I'm just talking to nobody in chat because if you're watching it, it don't matter anyway. But so I do that all the time. Like I'll do it around the house. I'll be like talking to the dogs. I'll be like, do you see that chat? This dog just sniffed this other dog's butthole, and they've been living together for nine years. How'd you forget what this other dog's butthole smelled like in nine years? Right, but the way the way you do it, <laughs> the way you doing it is like. Like, say if you don't have any viewers and you, you're talking, like, when that one person does come in and watch, like, it's like, you know, you, you, they're not coming in and saying, like, well, he's just sitting there playing the game, like, not saying shit. You know what I'm saying? Which like, happens sometimes. They'll hop in it, and it's like it. the 30 seconds you didn't say anything because you're like, I would, I would say someone. that's true. I mean, the, I think the chat really does create the hype, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sticking yeah. around, you know? Um, because if I came in and Sonny was wa- playing a game that I have no interest in, I want to hang out with him, but I, I can't really interact with him other than, you know, making fun of him a little bit through chat. But if there's nobody else in the chat or if there's nobody in your chat while I'm doing that, it's funny and then I'll probably bounce, you know what I mean? But if you know, if there's some, you know, there's a couple different people feeding off of each other, I think it would probably grow, grow right? It, is, that how, is that how the stream typically grows from the chat? I think word of mouth. Yeah. I mean like, Hey, check it out. Or I like Facebook because the algorithm's a lot more friendly than, than Twitch. Cause Twitch, you have to pull them in. So I was social media and like, I'm taking screenshots. Like I hate that stuff. I hate having to post and like, all right, we're about to go live. Let's get on Instagram. Let's get on Twitter, Facebook. All right. Everybody yeah. blast and then out and then with, hop with on. Twitch, you gotta, you gotta have, with Twitch, you got to have all your other social medias fleshed out. Like, so you have a lot of people seeing that you actually post it. Like my Twitter, I'm not following or not a lot of people is following me and I'm not following a lot of people. So when I post on Twitter, it's the same, you know, 20 people that are already watching me, you know, or yeah. following me on Facebook. Like it's so, <laughs> it's hard to like use all of them, but. The big thing is, is like, if people like what they see, if you just got to remember to encourage people, like people will do, I don't mean to say this in the wrong way, but people do what they're told. Like me and Tim, well, actually all of us have been in sales for a long time. My funny thing in sales, like when I was working at cons with Jay was welcome the customer, do your thing. They say, Hey, I want to see a fridge. Great. Come with me and then just walk away. They'll follow you. And one time out of the whole time I was there, like everybody's laughing, the customer went the other direction, the TVs, and I was like, all right, they got me. You one time, guys, one time you're laughing because I'm just do 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 do. Check out this fridge. Where's my customer? You know. Right, so right. people, that been me. That yeah, been me. I would like, like nah, uh, I'm not following you. you. Just say to me? Yeah, come with me. But like, you know, the the people that we do know liking oh, the stream, sad. spending you know three minutes in here, helps out the algorithm to push us into other people's feeds. And it pops up and if you have like a good thumbnail and then they start watching. So that's why I'm big on like trying not to leave the starting stream going for five minutes because if that's they start there, they're like, no, nah, I gotta fast forward this. This is dumb. Get right into the meat and potatoes. Uh-huh. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh damn, my buddy Chance came and jumped in here and I didn't get a chance to yeah. say hi. Oh, is that was in my chat earlier? Yeah. Chance who yeah, I, I, he said I, I, yo. Uh, 
I had, ch- I, had I had dude that dude's awesome. He uh he's a big anime nerd just like nice. me. And a lot of people don't know that, so I probably shouldn't say it out loud. But you know, he's quick a good, chat, he's a good dude. quick chat, sidebar. Chris Davis, thanks for following the stream. Appreciate that so much, Jay. You got anything over there besides? We got a question from Mike. Yeah, I got Mike. Uh, Mike says, "Have y'all ever streamed anything else besides games and doing this podcast?" Yeah, nope. have you ever watched Pornhub? <laughs> No, so I, if you look up, I'm just I'm just if you go to Chatterbait and look up Sunny Typhoon sixty nine, that's not me. <laughs> no, but uh, hold on, what was that again? This, this is the uh, Chatterbait sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> you Google it. I don't have a Chatterbait account. Well, it's if just, you look up it's cool, booty, cool, cool booty, booty, cool booty, cool booty, <laughs> Sunny Typhoon. It's just my beard. <laughs> like that's my OnlyFans. Is just my beard. Damn, <laughs> just a silhouette. But uh, oh my God. this is this is the second podcast. Uh, Thanks for following, us. Chance. Appreciate it. Yeah, and then uh, it's, I it's personally have. To, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to stream other people's content because of copyrights and stuff like that. Like, well, I, I mean, sit up here and say it's movie night and have like three hundred planned, but I get banned. Yeah, like immediately or I know, think like. like that. Oh, I, I think like, like trying to swing like even just live stuff, which when we stream yeah. to Facebook guys, there's no just chatting like Twitch. We're yeah, basically relying. Yeah, there's like nothing. That, yeah. We're relying on friends to bump us in the algorithm. I don't even know yet. Like I have no idea how successful this will be here without getting it to another another avenue. Not like we're trying to be Joe Rogan or anything. Like that's one of the biggest yeah. podcasts in the world. I, I've heard of him. I barely listen to his stuff. But anyway. Like, um, how do you, what, what would you want to see? You want to see me barbecuing like 30 minutes of just staring at a steak cooking? Like I got to close the lid every once in a while, get the smoke on it. I, I would, I'd know. love to see you barbecuing, man. You got to wear an apron though. There's it's definitely say, a lane for The it, apron yeah. though, when you stand up, it's got to say cool booty. Cool booty barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> cool booty barbecue. Or just that cool booty. Cool Dude, booties barbecue. You, this works like everything. <laughs> Uh, Chris Davis uh, responded. He said, "You're welcome, Typhoon. Just trying to collect all you guys' stream. That's what he was trying to do. Just yeah. trying to collect all you guys' stream. Yeah, Just see if you like stream elsewhere. Oh, just I'm side of just Facebook. Just Facebook for me. Uh, with Twitch, if you're an affiliate, you're not allowed to like multicast. Uh, and out of respect for the rules, I agreed to." I don't want to be over on Twitch, so I just don't stream there anymore. I don't feel like there's any growth potential over there. Um, and on the, uh, on I the got a hundred. You can find me <laughs> all over Twitch the place. Flatboard plays and, and YouTube. Flatboard <laughs> plays, baby. Go follow. Go subscribe to your boy, man. I need you. Help me, please. <laughs> yeah. I need you. <laughs> I need you. Yeah. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Give us five stars on Apple Podcasts that we're not on yet. Whatever these other people are saying that makes you do it, whatever. Uh, we just appreciate any and all interactions. Look, like Mike, it look makes... what Mike said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, that'll be definitely be something. We can even like co-stream reviews and stuff like that, and post them on YouTube and stuff like you know different shit like that. Well, it's hard yeah, to I, I, take time to edit too. Be, yeah, editing and yeah. And then music. Chris, Chris got you, man. Chris got you. All. He said he's already following you, man. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. That's dope. That's dope. Picks, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Oh my god, you guys are freaking hilarious, man. I like. Yeah, this. Chris, Flat Boy plays on Twitch and and YouTube. Go go hit the button, babe. Come on, man. Let's so, get it, man. Mike said, I noticed people who game review stuff uh, do well on streams. The issue of like trying to like the other night i played a game that was completely different for me um because i can you know i have access to a lot of games so going through and doing like it's hard to review an entire game unless like you're speed running it but you can at least i guess start it like um most of the time for me what i feel is the easiest for me to produce the best content that i feel that people would want to watch playing triple a games like angie said she likes to see the new games those are saturated so it's not the best for channel growth, but it is where you're going to get the most like genuine interaction because it's brand yeah, new. You get the most looks, right? Well, for me, like I'm super hyped about this game. I'm excited. So you're going to get a really good upbeat version of me. Whereas if I'm playing like Mario 2, 
I beat that game so many times, and it's just like, what's up, chat? We're just chilling. And that's great for a chill stream. It just depends on what you're feeling. You have yep. to play to your audience, but you also have to play to your strengths, and you have to you have to play what you want to play. Like, that's the hardest part. I love triple A's like nobody's business. So like, I'm always going to be that little fish in a big saturated pond, you know, but have you ever tried doing it in a bikini in a bat, you know, in a little blow up tub in your garage while you do it? Have you ever tried that? Guaranteed it's, views. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> it's hard to get the setup. You're just gonna. You're just gonna it's hard to get the setup, up. you know, because I've got all these monitors and cameras and like, yeah, that Explosion, makes it tough, dude. Like, I, I've done it as a pirate. You know, Does that count? Honestly, while I even wore eyeliner. Watch you. There's probably other explosions gonna go happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a little kiss for you. Yeah, I can't do the hot tub streams and stuff like that. But <laughs> I'm just messing, dude. You know. <laughs> I only asked that question because I think that's ridiculous, but, uh, well, and I don't, time. I said that last stream too. Like, I don't want to throw shade on people that are, Hey, you're doing your thing. I'm not here to judge. I'll, I'll, I'll be the guest that they cancel after the earmuffs chat. That, that's, that's ridiculous. That's, that's dumb. I mean, there's that's thirsty dumb. people everywhere. It is it's what it smart. is. It's smart on that. On their that part. Yeah. Part. Yeah, on that person's part. Yeah, I mean, if they found a lane, they found it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know, well, if anybody it, finds a lane. Yeah, and uh, I mean, my thing is, if it's a gaming, like Twitch is like broad now. It's a gaming Ooh. platform, but you can do so much stuff on it. And uh, I mean, Facebook is literally Facebook gaming. So like, if you're, you know, live or live streaming and not talking about games or you know anything like that like i feel like it's weird like like uh blue tarski was saying last week like it's a chick or a bunch of them that like have a game plan in the background on the stream and they're just like groping themselves on camera like no controller or keyboard <laughs> and mouse in the hand you know what i'm saying it's just a game plan in the background and they you know rubbing themselves down you know all cleavage showing and stuff like that like that's weird to me like but there's 900 viewers this stream is yeah. uh this stream is sponsored by johnson and johnson yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lotion me down man. <laughs> oh man just to well, just to know, apply this... some context side note i apologize uh in the last stream uh in the notes where they were uh, saying just trying to collect all the streams it was blue dog was trying to get in like and follow the streams that's what that was Dude, I, i'm I, glad officially thank you for clearing blue that dog, up man i'm glad to officially meet the guy well, yeah, I mean, we up. we just met him today. I just did. I don't know. Might be one of Jay's friends. Who knows? Wet t-shirt. Get out of here, BT. Oh, Blue Dog. Blue Dog. Uh, Castro. Oh, okay. That's the song, boy. He, he's uh gonna be raiding with us. And uh, what did he say? I have many monikers. What was the word? Multiple monikers. He was doing some fancy talking. But uh, just to go back to uh, Michael's thing, it depends on the platforms. You could break it down into a series where you do it over multiple um, multiple streams. Absolutely 100%. I tried to stream a game that, you know, I work, I work in the retail gaming industry and saw this ad on the TV every day for this game called Monarch. And I'm like, man, this looks sick. Got like this kind of guilty pleasure for K-pop stuff. I know I've got this great country beard man thing going on but i love like that like k-pop stuff so it's like all right i'm gonna check this out because it comes with the soundtrack man i played that game on a stream uh angie came in she's like they're talking a lot i'm like dude this game sucks it's like a playstation 2 graphics they won't stop talking i took that game back this morning and returned and got my money back for it. i'm like damn that's all you're getting out of the series i could barely make 45 minutes but like I've got a lot of other games that are story based games and and to be honest that kind of scares me a little bit cuz people not so much scares me but it's like do I want to spend time playing a story game with all this dialogue where it's like those are empty pockets so it's like the 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 viewer either has to read it or I read it and then how long between action cuz you know, it's like, man, I was done with that game. I was like, give me some destiny right now. I need to go blow something up, shoot some stuff, like get into where it's just like, you know, we were doing wellspring earlier. It's just like, boom, 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 boom. I don't know even what's going on. I'm just shooting everything, you know? So like, it does kind of worry me. She said way too dialogue. Um, 
but like i just got triangle strategy it's a game that came out and it's just like final fantasy tactics which is my number one favorite game on the top five and i'm kind of like i'm gonna need some downtime when nobody's around to play this game because like that cuts into the fun games like I feel like people, I would want to watch people blowing stuff up Destiny. I, I watch Destiny streams. I watch Call of Duty streams. You know, I watch the action streams. Every once in a while, I like watching um, uh, Dr. Disrespect because he's very entertaining in an in insane way. Dude, I like that guy a lot, man. And he's silly. Like hey, but I, I got to ask this question. Yeah, go for hey, it. The reason why I got to ask this question is because I haven't seen y'all do it. I, I, maybe, maybe Jay does. But have you have you thought about posting clips on like TikTok and and sharing it that way? Yeah, I do. I do. Because, I don't you... because TikTok is awesome when it comes down to spreading that. Like I I, I posted for example, all right, on Elden Ring. Margit um, is the first boss in the Elden Ring. Fuck, screw screw that guy. Sorry, uh, screw that guy. By the <laughs> way, it took a long time to beat him. Um, but when I finally beat him obviously i was pretty stoked you know that's the that's the beauty of from software you when you finally beat them you beat them um i ended up taking that clip and splitting it and i ended up putting it uh putting two parts on tiktok Uh, i've got i got a little over fifteen thousand uh views on the first one and a little under six thousand views and i've got quite a few likes on all those now granted i'm not a streamer i don't have anything that i'm plugging right i'm not I'm not trying to plug anything in, but I mean that's a good growth platform, man. Like yeah, it's, it is. It's I, I need to do more. It. I need to do more, but I do have. It's hard know. to here's, clip. Here's, here's something I would do for you guys. This is what I'm saying. If you could, if you could uh, send me videos, I can do that for y'all on TikTok. Oh, Tim's a TikTok master. I don't know why we're not NFTing my face on a monkey. Just saying. Yeah, you can be a. You can. Uh, you can uh let me see it is hard to clip on facebook compared to twitch twitch is a super clean platform like it is yeah. super I mean, you, friendly you can, you can for that the clip and it, it'll, it'll send it in a creator dashboard it's not uh, as good you know, in my opinion yeah but like like say if i want to clip something i have to type it in like but like the viewers can clip for you like you say mm-hmm. clip it chat or whatever and it may not get the exact part that you want or whatever or they might clip it a little too late or you know you, you can do clip 60 or what clip i what i do is i screen record so like uh yeah i can I'll, record my own and, and like chop it down if need i'm talking be. about all my phone i can't do android. a clip right now oh, okay. like so okay. like i wonder you, if i could you on my scroll phone. down and you go to yeah you can on android you scroll down there's a screen record and so you go back to your stream and you play it big screen it and then hit screen record and it'll count down three, two, one, and then you push your play on your stream. You can stream that whole thing and record it on your phone. You can edit it now. Well, that I don't want to download three, four hours of stuff no, and but go you could through do, it. You can do pieces. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. can do pieces. I'm sorry, well, I like I to get I'm those. No, you're good, no, no, and it's no, totally no. fine. I like to get the clips of like the really funny stuff. Like, like yeah, the cheesiest. <laughs> the, I got a box of cheese its and a big old thing of goldfish crackers. Like, yeah, that dude, was, that, that was, was hilarious. Facebook created that themselves. Like, that was just a random clip that whatever live service they have that does it. Like, after your stream is over, it'll be like, hey, we made this clip for you. And that one just happened to capture that one. Usually, is they capture, like, silent moments. And I'm like, man, delete this. You know what I mean? Like, but. Yeah, it's something out there for us. We, yeah, definitely. I will send you clips, especially like when we do the raid this Thursday. If we mm. get it, boss fight action. I'm uh, so excited. I can't even tell you. How to do Yo, the gameplay. I'll, uh, you know, I, I can uh, turn it into different clips and I can email it back to you and you just post it. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, side note, going to answer Michael on your chat. Yes, you're not wrong. But again, the only thing that I'm saying is, is yes, like for new streamers that want to grow stuff like dude playing Minecraft, but unfortunately Minecraft brings in a lot of kids and I used to cuss a lot and say some mess up stuff. So like Minecraft will bring in a lot of people, a lot of followers, a lot of growth, but I can only play Minecraft so much. So it's like, you got to play what you want to play. 
Exactly. You have to make sacrifice to grow the channel. I totally understand. Yeah. Sometimes you just you're in a rhythm where it's like I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I've got like tonight we jammed in like 45 minutes of destiny and then tim i missed tim's text like i'm ready and i'm like okay wrap it up we gotta actually go back we gotta go to work we gotta do the podcast you know and, the, and we were trying to jam in some good stuff though because it's like sometimes you just want to play some games on wine you know so yeah you ain't you you definitely ain't wrong i'm surprised you aren't playing right now while we're talking nope this is just yeah, strictly the podcast it, like yeah I, I, thought about it, but I don't think i can i can do both like this deep of a conversation and still play like unless i'm just you know running around aimlessly you know just not doing anything important in the game i think we agreed yeah. very early on which this is still in its infancy but we agreed very early on that we're just gonna f put the cameras up and just focus on the conversation uh, there's other oh, nights for gaming that's cool i'm just talking about like something simple oh i can play in the background right now uh -oh. you know but yeah but that takes you takes away <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, got uh he got some fans walking through the room with him. Yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Angie says I like the way y'all are doing the correct way, doing what you love and sharing the stream so we can watch and interact. That's the best part. Like what Jay's got a really good following and that was something that I was alluding to earlier is like I I only came back to streaming because I know Jay's like in it. Like he's not flaky. Like I get flaky chat. I do because it gets, sometimes it gets frustrating. Cause you're like, I could spend this time somewhere else and I'm, I'm losing focus on things because, you know, I don't want to say like I have a rock star mentality, but sometimes I have a rock star mentality where it's like, I've been streaming for five years on and off and I don't have 5,000 followers. Like, isn't that just supposed to happen? No, it's not how it works. You know, but like doing it for the right reasons and, and having fun with your friends. I'm now back to streaming to hang out with my friends. I don't even look at the statistics anymore. I give a crap. I don't care. That's what I, was, that's what I was thinking. I was like, the next time we do this, we need to like where uh, uh, Blue is, his little screen right here. If we could throw some Mario Kart right there while we're while we're doing this, I guarantee you we could still have a good conversation. And, oh, yeah, that'd be dope. That'd and be dope. Throw, down, throw down on some Mario Kart while we talk. Um, because I don't know how, when's the last time I'll play some Mario Kart with, you know, get them balloons, but I, I want to take all them balloons from you, man. <laughs> not, yeah. uh, not happening. Every time. You'll never, you'll never take my balloons. <laughs> yeah, we, we can do something like that or even like, uh, Streets of Rage 4, you know what I'm saying? Like just oh, walking God, down the street dude. kicking ass. I got that game and we could do something like yeah, that. Yeah, cause we yeah. could just, um, you'd have to open another, uh another person um i'm trying to think you'd have to make another profile on discord probably and then stream your screen to that i'm not sure i could do my camera and my screen possible let's see i'm about to hit something to look into i was look it up let's do look it up share we're doing it right now let's see what happens uh oh what? damn what yeah so you could Oh snap! He's got it right there. That's yeah. his. That's yours. Oh my god, that is dope. There it oh, is. Yeah, that's cool. So we could uh, we could play something. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, Talking I, turkey you know, and playing video games. I mean, that's dude. That's... I lo well, come on. Nobody, no, everybody loves to watch people talk shit while they play video games, especially Mario Kart or Smash Brothers. Y'all all. I'm, sorry, I'm so bad at down. Smash Brothers. Yeah. Any, any type of any type of game where we could talk shit about the game we're actually playing and keep up with the dude with the could you imagine stream like i don't know i know we can't but could you imagine streaming goldeneye while we were all talking like it'd be crazy oh my god <laughs> oh god, yeah when well, we get that tmnt collection this summer yeah, the, the arcade Woo! stuff the teenage mutant ninja turtles too oh, side note that, there's honestly. a capcom uh, f uh fighting uh, it's capcom fighting collection i believe comes out in june and they've got a bunch of old retro like red earth and vampire vampire hunter vampire savior something like a bunch of old capcom fan games and then like street fighter like some gem street fighter game and there's a bunch of stuff so there's there's Mike's a did. lot of games out there Oh yeah, Mike. Mike, I was reading that. He said this is a cool podcast because it's an open session to talk about anything y'all need to get guest gamer punctuation. 
needed you because <laughs> you get to talk about anything. Y'all need to get guest game streamers to join to talk about what they like and dislike. Yeah, that's the plan. Like I'm tapping into to personal people right now that I know that are willing to jump on. Sorry, I'm not interesting enough for you, buddy. <laughs> no, that's not what he said at all. He would never say that, right, Mike? He would never say that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I got a couple fellow uh, streamers that are interested. I just got to lock them in on certain days because they're like one of them streaming right, two of them streaming right now, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we the other ones just have to have specific days. So yeah, CT, we was we talking about that TMNT out. game coming out this summer. I don't know if you caught that earlier or not. You said you uh, fell asleep after taking a dump after dinner or something. So oh, sounds like a good day. Fell asleep on the toilet after a big old dinner. Speaking of which, seeing as we're oh, all man. dads, man, has your kid ever just like passed out on the toilet? Like, what is that? Oh, leaned over like in a yeah. They taking a poo poo you. at like three in the morning because their stomach's upset and they just end up falling asleep on the toilet. You come through and you're like, something smells funny and why is that child asleep on the toilet? Yeah, no, I've cool. never done that. Uh, yeah. My daughter's Not falling if in you the have. toilet. That was, that was sad, dude. She was crying. She cried Did you leave so the bad. seat up? <laughs> dude, she no, she did it uh, just. You know how you know how tiny she's she so is. small. She just, she just like, just like dunking an Oreo, man. Like, like you know what I mean? Like that poor girl. She was crying. She couldn't get out. Oh yep. my god! It's like when you get stuck in the inner tube in the pool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Like that. You're like. That's so trying silly. To get out, like. Oh my god. The goodness. thing I had the thing I the, the trouble I have with my with my youngest son is he would like number two and just get up. He didn't wipe. He just pulled his pants up. Like I used to like just be oh my He goodness. drip dry on number two? Like he just like would oh, use that's, it and, and get that's up. The, that's the itchy cool boo. I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh dude, that's nasty. Yeah, he just got up. Like this you know, when he first started doing it on his own, but you know, the potty, I was so happy when he potty trained, but he just, I was like, you got to wipe. And like, he was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? But it, it didn't get through to later, but he was just do it and get up. That's well, that, so makes funny. More, that makes a little bit more sense. That makes a little bit more sense on the potty training. You know, I write a, I'm right there. I got a two year old and uh man, I got to tell you that dude's a monster and he, Jesus. I know we're not talking about. I know we're not supposed to. Are you talking about? Go like, ahead. That dude. That dude's got. That dude's. That dude's got problems. You know what I mean? Like he takes dump. He takes dumps like me. You know what I mean? Like what's up? What's up? You're two, man. You're two, dude. That's a man like, sized doo doo in that diaper. Dude, this dude can eat a freaking. He can eat a McDouble and French fries at two, and he. You know. You know. You've seen him. He's not like. This obese child. No, like he's super. He, <laughs> she says the Luke, stuff we discuss. But he's Luke, but he, uh, he, he. I mean, man, he's just a monster, man. So this is parenting from a dad's point of view. Women are all in. They're nurturers, so they're gonna be like putting stuff on the fridge. We're like, dude, my kid took a dump the other day. Was bigger than like, like an axe handle. Like, oh my god, your kid's a. He's gonna grow up to be a real he's man. Sick. Yeah, I, why, so, sure is. I'm so just, proud of him. <laughs> why did you, you say axe handle? It was that's the first so, thing that just so came so to sick. mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Shit! That's bigger than an axe handle. I was like, <laughs> what? No way, dude! Man, holy shit! Okay, look oh at the goodness. testing on this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the intestine. Babe, babe, where's the where's the tape measure? I gotta measure. This might be a world oh, record man. in this one. Woo! Oh my goodness. That, that boy's boy intestine probably goes from this side of the yard to the other side of the yard. Blue say when he when his son was son was younger, I was up gaming. It was, I was up at two AM gaming and I had to catch him before he started peeing in the corner of the hallway. Oh, he was sleepwalking? <laughs> my mom like, did that. Oh, Man. that's so funny. So that's what I was very specifically talking about was my child. I heard his guts just destroying him when he was a my my youngest son when he was like three years old. You could just hear the bubble guts in the bedroom. And I was playing WoW back then. Karazhan was the raid. That's how far back this was. And 
I'm like, dude, he is destroying back there. It smells like terrible. I'm like, that smells wrong. Like the whole house smells. So I went back there and uh, I'm like, I look in the bathroom because the lights on this kid's passed on a toilet covered in crap, like from his shoulders to his toes. Like, oh my God. I get it all up to him. <laughs> well, oh God, he dude. was laying in bed and he had explosive diarrhea. So I Whoa. went to the bedroom to get some clothes because I'm about to have to bathe this kid at four in the morning. Oh, so and he dude, did. there was had to roll up out of it. Oh man, there was Ooh. puddles of poop <laughs> from the bathroom to his bed. The diaper could not hold the fury that he had like brought oh, forward. Man. I'm like, and to this day, my oldest son's like, dude. Tell the puddles of poop story again. I'm like, dude, it sucked. I don't want to relive this. But yeah, I had to throw that kid in the shower just to hose him down just because, oh my God. It was the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, is not a cool booty. The golden, Angie said the golden log. The golden log? (laughs) The the axe haft. (laughs) Yeah, man. You call it axe half fool. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Hey, man, this totally <laughs> falls outside of the rules of what we said we wouldn't talk about, so we're safe. Yeah. You can we talk. Go, Dudes man. talk about the gross. Well, I can't talk about some of the things like I've given younger parents advice on when they have children. Like, have you gotten to this stage yet? And they're like, no, I'm like, just wait. It makes it super interesting. Your kid's going to be tying a sweatshirt around his waist in 90 degree weather. The randoms are hilarious. <laughs> all right, Chad. All right, Chad. We're we, we going to get to a part of the, we're going to try to incorporate this. Like, give us some ideas for the next podcast. Also, post your top five games of all time while we're keeping the conversation going. And we're not going to go too much longer, but we we having a good time. So, absolutely. You know, I am actually having a good time, and I'm yeah. about to grab a couple more beers. And I'll be right back. Beauty, beauty. Yeah, post your top five uh, favorite games of all time. Let me see what we're working with. Let's see mm-hmm. who, who got taste. Let's see who's. who's you know. So we do have uh, we do have one person lined up, like we were talking about earlier in the stream, where we're gonna tap into uh, to Plat Boy plays Jay's side of uh, being semi pro pro sports, like what life you know that includes, because. Um, I ran into a couple people that have gotten like the nod and sometimes life gets in the way of it. Like, um, I don't, do you remember Thaco at all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Thaco's brother was like, they, his team, I forget which game it was, maybe battlefield or something. And they were able to go to a tournament, like where if they won this tournament, they'd get signed. And like one guy's like, Oh, my wife won't let me go. And you know, it's like, so they missed out on an opportunity you know, because life, you know, so it's just interesting to see like, um, my, uh, my assistant, you know, like I said, she's an e-girl and, and catching things from, you know, the female's perspective where there's a lot of uncouth conversations that get thrown your way. So it's just gonna be interesting to see that type of thing, uh, for sure. I'd love to hear what chat has as far as other ideas or even people in the chat that want to join in to the podcast at some point, you know, you know, what, what, Bring it, bring it. We'll just, if we, if you don't have anything like really just burning a hole in your pocket, we can just talk about random stuff. We'll start with our top fives and just talk life and video games. It's real easy. Yeah. I'd like to see what uh, a couple of these people's top fives are. I know we got Thomas. We we got his, but I want to see Mike's, Angie's. What about Chris? Chris. Yeah. 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 Blue dog. What's your top five, baby? Post it in the chat. Let's get it. Had to take mm-hmm. a breathe break right there. So. <laughs> I guess Ooh. I can go ahead and unmute myself with this, I suppose. Mm-hmm. There he is. Bring it out, Cupcake. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, let's see. My top five. I actually have to start with a uh, old place two classic. Uh, SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs 2. Okay. Hold on. Before, before you do it. Uh, what era of gaming did you start with? Like, what was your first system? I'm just, we just getting a, I'm just getting a, cause I'm Atari. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, we're, we're like, Com- we're... Um, 
my first system I quote unquote owned would be my father first bought was actually uh, the standard uh, Nintendo. Okay, okay. But we yeah, also had a Commodore 64 in the house that I was very hands on at the time as well. We talked about Oregon Trail last week. Yeah, Oregon. Played, Did you say Oregon? Uh, Oregon Trail. <laughs> Oregon Trail. Yeah. Oregon yeah. Trail. There's an O in the end of that word. Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> or, <laughs> Oregon Trail. <laughs> Oregon Trail. Yeah. All right. Either way, yeah. But uh, on the uh, Commodore, I uh, played a lot of the original Ultimas. Okay, okay. Commodore 64. Man, you. That's classic, bro. Oh, yeah. I love that old little system. Oh, and Giant Com- floppy disk. Yeah. The floppy disk, right? The big floppy oh, disk? Oh, yeah. yeah. Seven inches, yeah. They're big suckers. I'm going to fuck. It. Hold on one second. I'm going to see if I can't find this thing. Oh. <laughs> Mike said or- Oregon Trail is there the your, OG your game. If you can, if you can, if you find it. He will. He's going to go run right around. Atari for Mike. Now, Mike also said any Tom Clancy game, Destiny, God of War, Dark Souls, Medal of Honor. But I hate to. Uh, sorry, Blue. I cut you off. Okay. So, you, so, so, you, so you, you, your number one game is SOCOM. PlayStation yeah, so 2. Yeah, SOCOM is Navy SEALs. Um, okay. After that, I have to go with uh, two beloved classics of mine. Um, that would be Duke Nukem 3D. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Get, Duke yeah. Nukem 3D. Get and some. I to, and, and I have to go with the grandfather of them all. Doom is like the, the <laughs> classic best. Okay. So if if, if yeah. you don't claim Doom as a top, I, I, I have a little part of my heart that hurts if you don't claim that one. Yeah, How Doom do you – uh, game I played land at school. How do you rate yeah, the yeah. Doom movie? Um, <laughs> I, I don't like I I don't like to acknowledge their existence. Here you, go, here, here you go, Blue. This is for you, man. So can you see it? Oh my oh, God! Yeah, it's in the sleeve buddy. too. Ba, 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 oh, yeah. What see yard sale right did there? you pick that up from? I didn't, this, this is for pure me. Nostalgia, my man. Pure this nostalgia. Is, this is for me. Oh, you you're gonna hoarder. like this one. I save this one for last for you. I, I've got a couple Ooh. more, but I, I pulled out this one. You remember this one? It is crazy. Oh, uh, destroy escort. Yes, destroy there, escort, there. man. You see how big this thing is? It gets, hey, I can see you, boy. Look at that. <laughs> the real question is, do they still work? Have they decayed yet? No, dude. You see how fine? That's 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 pristine. Pristine. Wow, that's that's a pristine uh, Commodore sixty four right there, baby. Wow, very nice, very nice. I told you all I was a collector, man. You just like, flashed like five hundred dollars on Technology eBay. Technology is crazy. <laughs> yeah, technology is crazy. Did he? Did you give us the whole five? Actually, um, I gave you three. Three, okay. Um, actually, after that, it has to be my very first MMO, which goes back to uh, another Ultima. Ultima Online is uh, okay. the very first MMO. My brother, my uh, father brought me into that game, and from then, really um, boosted my love for MMOs in general. Okay, that's dope. I'm I'm an M- MMO guy. Oh, M- mm-hmm. M- 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 MMO. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, from that point, I, I pretty I much had hands too, man. on. Yeah, like, <laughs> great. But I digress. Yeah, um, I've had my hands on most MMOs that's come out, and I'm very picky with them at this point. Have you yeah. tried Lost Ark yet? Yes, I only played it for like ten minutes. What did you like? What did you dislike? In the dislike? same boat as my boy CT, man. My boy Blue Tarski, man. I, I, I don't know. know. I, I just didn't feel it. I, I I I wanted to like it. I didn't feel it. Did you play? Just did. Did you play with people? No, I I, I just went through it and I just didn't like how the game felt. The control rise. I mean, I was expecting more of like a Diablo feel. Okay, okay. But, but but for some reason, you know, it just didn't feel right to me, so I just passed on it. There was a lot of extra shit to do at the beginning, too. Yeah. yeah like, the, 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 the game, they had to, yeah. What yeah. what class did you play? What did you pick to start? Actually, um, I'm a huge healer player in general. If there's a healer in a game, I'm playing a healer. So, so I went bard? I, to, I went bard, and it just felt clunky Yeah. to me. Well, first, if you didn't like clunky. bard, you wouldn't like a lot of other stuff, because bard's like my second favorite and the rest of them feel clunky af that's yeah, awesome I went, I, went, I went with the gunner with the uh the big you don't meet big. a lot of people that just come out like i love to play healer like that's yeah dope. um that's dope. like in all the battlefields that's probably my fifth um I, i'm a huge battlefield player and i'm very sad this current battlefield as went the way it is i was gonna ask you about 2042 yeah, so sad uh, you play I, have, I do not 
Okay, um, okay. I have I haven't played a serious Call of Duty game since uh Modern Warfare Two. I'm I'm trying to put together a solid Warzone squad before I start. I mean, I got, I got I deep into Vanguard, man. I got deep into Vanguard. I liked it a lot. I know I know a lot of people disagree with that, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good so, representation. So, so I got Vanguard. Yeah. Like we can we can definitely jump down on that. We cross play, so it's, it's yeah. Good to go. My issues with shooters in general is um I don't like playing by myself. If I have a, a squad to run with and we learn how to play together and learn how each other play, we can play, run off each other. Then yeah. I'm for, for it, but I just don't like bugging. When it comes to shooters, right. I don't like bugs. <clears throat> so let me ask you, you guys this: Seeing as you like MMOs and you like shooters, where are you at with Des- De- Destiny? Where are you at with uh, the Division Two? Wow, because uh, we need a squad for that too. I love that game. <laughs> like, it, like somebody I, put in the uh, chat anything Tom Clancy, and I'm like, bro, I love the Division. The story is just, one of my just, favorite stories. Hands down, it's in my top. Is that cro- is that cross platform? Should be. No, it's 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 uh, I, PC and Stadia can play together. Uh, I, I, I res- messed with the original. Okay. I like I never the Division, one. dude. Division Two is dope. I just never felt a squad. Yeah, for See, doing the, the raid. Thing, like the, the the games we're naming, we all have them. Like everybody mm-hmm. that we play with, we but we just can't get enough. Like we got four or five people that play Division Destiny. Blah blah blah, but we always missing that one or two more people we need to like get into the raid content because we we hardly want to pug it. You know what I'm saying? We will if it come down to it. We got five people ready to roll. We'll pug that one person. You know what I mean? But we we really want a, a solid squad. So you know, Chad, everybody, if you think about buying a game, get what we got and uh, <laughs> let's roll. You know? Yeah, you know jump I mean? in. <clears throat> yeah, I was I was literally pulled into Destiny yesterday. And I uh, said, "Hey, we we need a we need a good healer." I was like, "Hey, I play healers. I'll roll roll up warlock. Here I am." <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> "We better be playing a warlock then." And now I, we just I, need I just some titans. Over the titan. I just switched <laughs> over to. I didn't switch over, but I'm getting one ready for that moment. You know what I mean? Because I don't know a different class. Hey, everybody, we need a warlock. We need, we we need a titan right now. And Jay's it's like, "I got it. I'm here. <laughs> I got it right now." <laughs> I hate playing Titans. I hate them. Yeah, playing moment. against them. My moment. Playing them. I'm I don't like their jump. Now, yeah, the jump is, is, is <laughs> I do prefer weird. a Warlock over Titan. Titan's my least favorite. Yeah. I, I, I'm trying they do to have that cool charge, though. Shields and bubble. Yeah. Like if Superman or Iron yeah. Man fly across the screen. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking at getting into different games, like we... The ones we mentioned, we like we all play it and we're all like willing to play it. So we just, you know, we want to get deep in the content. Like we want to raid and do all the good stuff. You know. Hey, Platt. Yeah. What is your top MMO right now? Man, if I say it, okay. I'm I'm real like about to mute this chat. This hey, this, hey. this is. You 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 say yours outside mine. <laughs> Show me yours. I'll show you. You mine. show me like, yours. I'll show you mine. So right <laughs> yeah. now, right now, I don't have one. Right, Uh-oh. right now at the moment, I don't have a. Favorite Do you consider MMO. Destiny now, an MMO? One, not really. Uh, I, I mean, it has, it, it has aspects, been, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not because it's it's two instants. Is what it is. To be an MMO, it's two instants. Right. You need more open world Final mechanics. Fantasy. Final Fantasy, that everybody's That's saying it's good. Final Fantasy XIV is good. I, I, good. Ship. I jumped off WoW to play that. And okay, I, see? I, I've been it's playing fire. it for about six months now, and honestly, I feel no reason to shop for another MMO pure. So good. Okay. Did That's, you say, I, are you talking about Final Fantasy? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah man. It's, it's fire. So good. I, I, wow, WoW was I'm, my I'm, favorite. I'm on this, yeah, WoW was, WoW was amazing, but the past few years, it's gone straight downhill, and I'm, I can't yeah. stand it anymore. I think that's because of the, the issues they had. What do you think is going to happen with WoW now that Microsoft is going to be taken over? Do you think that's well, going to revitalize just, the IP? or? I think it – well, no. I think April 19th or April 16th. Yeah, April 19th they're, 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 they're announcing. Yeah, um, d- depending upon how the expansion goes, I think that'll either save it or kill it. I think I think this is go or no go time for WoW. 
right. Yeah. We had the twenty year mark, so it's it's like they gotta come on with it. Cause uh, quite honestly, I want to see Wild and like a Unreal Five engine now. Like I you know think they're I mean? gonna take right. it. I think they're gonna take it, and they're they were, they're gonna do it well. I think they're gonna revamp it well. I I think everybody at this point knows that it's got to take a different. Yeah, well, they man, finally pushed the Overwatch Two. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that's coming to fruition. It's cool that you have the the what do they call the old stuff, the old servers? What's the, the retro classics. classics. So it's cool they have the yeah. classics so you can start over again, but do you really want to start WoW over again? I've been playing I since BC. I did. I did. I, I, I started do. It over. Yeah. It was fun. The only reason we went back to retail is like the guild we were in, like like the stuff that happened was like pretty exhausting. I was like, man, I don't want to get cool with another guild and work ourselves back up to the raid team and stuff like that. So we yep. just went to retail and like started digging our way up over there. And it's just like the stuff that isn't fulfilling. You know what I mean? Like it's okay. It's a bunch of stuff to do and grind for. They keep giving us grind mechanics, keep making us grind for flying every patch. Like, come on, man. It's it's just like you got to give me something more than that. They're not adding dungeons like in burning crusade they added shit like here's a new raid here's a new dungeon here's a new ra-. you know what i mean but now it's like we're not getting that same amount of content like lich king and, and mm, yeah so, it, it's 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 over ooh. system over system lich right. king by far hands down the greatest mmo ooh. expansion of all time oh, someone, all say, someone someone just says lich king it's like mm, delicious. it was so good <laughs> it's like, it's like got a good taste in your mouth mm. i mean we 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 had notebooks, like taking notes, like stat checking, like we were doing everything to squeeze out another hundred DPS. Like it was serious back then. Yeah, you and made time for it. All the add-ons add as well. Oh yeah, if you didn't run yeah. like DBM, you were like, Literally. get out of the raid. And like, I'll throw back to one of my friends. I hope he's watching. But like, <clears throat> me and one of my oldest gaming friends, like we did not like each other in the game turned out to be like really good friends in real life. Like we've known this guy for like 12 years, but like, he's like, if any of you paladins aren't running pally power, you're a noob and you suck at life and you can just get out. Like kind of deal. I'm like, what's pally power. I don't even know. I'm a good paladin, <laughs> you know? So I was just like, we started off on the wrong foot, but you know, he's kind of, he's kind of elitist. So, you know, I okay. had to learn before we, before we get to four, uh, Angie's top five, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Destiny, Call nice. of Duty, World of Warcraft, Mario Kart, Castlevania. Super good That's title. A nice list. That's a yeah, nice you list. missed Mike's too. Right. He said Tom Clancy, Destiny, God of War, Dark Souls, Medal of Honor. Also God of War, good. 3D and RPG. Zelda. She said. I think God of War might be the best. Especially with this last one they released. I've never played any of them. Oh my god, man! I, 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 mean, I played one. one and two. I, I played one and two. Skip three, and I played this one that they released on PS4 and, and we released on PC and you know next gen. Bro, it's it's deep. The story is good. Graphically amazing. Like it's, I mean, the the it's smooth, fluid combat. It's hard. It has a easy is hard you know what i'm saying like the difficulty level is is it's hard bro and uh i mean it's just it's, it's like i could stream that game and like the story would probably i wouldn't even have to talk you know what i'm saying like mm. it's, it's a pretty decent really good game bro there's definitely games like that where yeah, you know, just decent. people flow with it yeah yeah exactly but uh when you ask me my best mmo uh of all time, it's Star Wars Galaxies. Such a and good like, one. I'm the one, like, not many people have, like, played it or heard of it. But uh, that that's my favorite one of all time. It was just, when I say open, it was completely open. There weren't, there was, I mean, they had NPCs with, like, objectives for you to do, but it wasn't like a quest system. You go up to this little kiosk, it's, it had a whole bunch of... Uh, objectives you can click on you know or, or you can call them quests or whatever but you know it was just go kill 12 rancors but like to kill one of them you needed like 20 people mm. you know what i'm saying so it had like this huge 
social aspect of the game that was just crazy. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like, it, I, we, I it understand. wasn't like the raid or nothing. It was just. I thought, I I thought, it was gonna, totally I thought he was going to say bless. <laughs> Some of those Korean I MMOs are a little, a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were some good ones. Like, do you guys remember like Ion? That was a neat little concept of the yeah, wings. Yeah. I mispronounce everything, so don't don't feel bad about it's correcting okay. me. It, it's fine. <clears throat> that was a good one. And then what was the man? Skyforge was all right, but like, so, there's just so many of them. And there was another one I can't remember. It might have been Aeon, but I can't remember. There was. Uh, it wasn't Guild Wars 2. Me and my one buddy, we were like so hyped on Guild Wars 2, and then they pushed it back two years, and by then I was like, I'm bored waiting for this game, so I never even really played it. Guild Wars 2 looked Doom good, though. Was trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Doom movie was like... wicked bad. <laughs> the best part of the Doom movie was at the end when he was running like the game and the gun was swinging. Like, you're playing, like, Doom and the weapons would swing. Like, you're running. That was the best part because I was like, nice. I oh, see what you did there. Only redeeming oh, thing. Let me ask you this. What happened in New World? Look at that. Bored. <sighs> Do you hey. want the legitimate answer to that? Hey. I, want a, I, want, I want a legitimate answer from each one of you individually for that. Okay. New World, like, on first sight, when you, when you log in and you, I mean, it's... Like I, I'm a guy like I'm a triple A gamer guy. Like you won't see me playing a lot of games with the cartoony graphics. Or nothing against them. It's just, you know, my taste. Like like I don't look at a game if it's not considered triple A. And like when you walk into it, it's like visually stunning. It's I mean it's huge. It feels like the world is alive in the game. You know what I mean? You it's like when you're chopping trees, these they fall like in real life. You know what I'm saying? It it feels real good. The issue we had with it was uh, traveling. Like you do a quest, you you run a thousand meters to go do the quest. You got to run a thousand meters back. You know what I mean? Like it's, there's no like instant completion or you know you go back to the NPC, complete the quest, then he sends you 700 meters this way. Go do that. You run 700 back. There are some fast travel mechanics one of them you know of course has an hour cool down the other one you still have to run to like these fast these uh the blue portals whatever whatever, 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 yeah. whatever you want to call them you got to run to Obelisk. those and they cost uh what were the shards or the things that we needed to teleport and, i don't remember uh, i haven't played in so long yeah uh, you need i don't remember now neither to <laughs> teleport and you have to you don't just get them freely like it, it was a it was like basically you don't have enough to fast travel all over the place so it was a lot of uh i think new world is mostly quality of life issues like, you, know I mean? like, <laughs> you, got <laughs> you got me you got me jimmy good old yeah, Stu uh, stupidasso he's back yeah stupidasso's uh, back it just it just was a lot of uh quality of life issues for me. And, we don't uh, talk about bag boobs on here. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> bag boobs. No. <laughs> chat being silly and, over uh, here. But they the next patch in the end of March, they fixed a lot of that stuff for New World. So I'm gonna go back and check it out and uh I'm I'm gonna grind a character to fifty just so I can see what these mutators are about for the uh dungeons and uh, they're supposed to be adding a raid at some point, maybe summer in you know end of summer or something like that. But uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. The the PVP in it is kind of broken. They uh they're fixing that. They're doing a lot of weapon changes, but we'll see. I, I, but my my reason is uh quality of life. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want to run everywhere. You know what I mean? And I don't want to have to go out and grind portals to get these shards so I can fast travel when I want yep. to. So I'm, I'm going to jump in here real quick. Uh, chat on this side, as far as one of the greatest games ever made, was Earthworm Jim. Oh, super, super yeah. clutch classic. Dude, yes. Clay, now, fighters. <laughs> clay Fighters. All Clay Ooh, Fighters. Clay yes. Fighters. All clay Fighters, bro. Ooh. Yep. So, That's a, ooh, I almost forgot about yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll We'll jump on that, but I just want to throw it out so you didn't feel like he was getting left out. It's so good call, Jimmy. Dude, so New World... 
super fun if you're playing with other people. Hold on, not... hold on. Was it Jimmy Jimmy? Yeah, Jimmy Will and Wayne. Oh, dude. That dude is a stew. He is, he is a, a stew. Pedasso. <laughs> I'm gonna so, say it out loud. the uh, super well, fun to play. Asshole. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so the game's super fun with people, and you have to do stuff without. But Brittany, what's up, baby? It was. It got boring, man. I'm like I'm running all over the place, and then it's like my bags get full, and then like I'm a big profession person. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. So, hey, congratulations, Jimmy, if you're still watching. You know. Oh yeah, I'm... congratulations on the uh the new member. Very very awesome. Um, yes, I had stuff in one like town, and I like the concept. It's like okay, I've got, but it turned out like I just ended up like hearthing back to. He said thank you. I'd hearth back to my main town, which then we'd lose control of the faction so it cost me to teleport anywhere else like 14 times as much so it's like i ran out of room in this bank so this bank i can only do one or two things and then versus teleporting to another bank i just run well then i'm collecting as i'm running because it's like i can't pass up a node and then so it's like this town i craft uh linen stuff in this next town i do iron and stuff in this next town nobody can see that tip <laughs> oh stupid pedasso there it is and yeah, uh, you know it just turned into like just starting at the bottom of the map and then running to the top of the map farming and i'm like my natural instinct is to pick up everything so i just turned into just farm runs i'm like man i'm just <laughs> i can't pass up these nodes i gotta farm these trees because you got to get those skills it took forever to get your tier of trees up so you could farm the blue trees at 100 or whatever it I took hours. Too. Yeah, same, but it took yeah, it hours took to do it. And then for me, Jay never tells us what server we're going to play on, so I have to start four characters until I find him, and then I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> so it's like... Okay. Lack of communication. <laughs> yeah, lack of communication. So I, I get this Next character part, leveled right. up. He's like, hey, we're going to be on this server, and I'm like, all right, well, there goes that three hours. Yeah. So I thought the game was amazing. I'm going to... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> You had to start over because you were on the different servers? Yeah, yeah. that's the problem oh, with these no. new MMOs Oops. that Destiny does so good. Hold on, who who started over? Me. He's Every time. The relationship. <laughs> he's oh. he's the big he's the big dog. He brings he brings the people in. I bring the entertainment. I'm just following I'm his coaches. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I know. you know I'm messing with you. Right. Yeah, I know. But uh I just so I, I want to wrap up on this so so Blue Dog can talk on it. But it's just like there's a the quality of life thing, like Jay's saying, it has really amazing concepts. But if every MMO would just stop locking us to a server to where I can't play, like Mike's on a different server on New World or uh, no, uh, Lost Ark. My kid's on another server on Lost Ark. Then I started on one server. Jay's like, hey, we're finally here because he was at work or whatever. So I lost a couple hours there. So I started over on another server. I don't want to be locked to a server. That's why I like Destiny 2 so Basically, much. Or the division. Have, have like, a congregation before you start this game. Like, hey, everybody. This is where we're all going to start. But then, you know, not everybody plays at the same speed. You know, my yeah. kid's in the military. He doesn't have all the time. Mikey is very aggressive in, in chowing out content. So he usually bypasses us, but he'll just come back and do the light stuff with us. You know, so it's just that part drives me nuts. Quality of life for every MMO stop locking the servers where I have to make multiple characters all over place. That's why I can't play WoW because all I have tons of tunes that are both Horde and Alliance max level and well, for back in the day. I had like 14 max level characters and I'm like, how much money do I got to spend to transfer servers for my farming tunes? Like, I'm not going to do it anymore. So anyway, that's my two cents. Go ahead, Blue. So with Jay, it's way of life. With you, it's too much grind and um it didn't support servers. my habits servers. got it didn't support what my about habits. you blue what you got i know you, me, you were ready it, it was mainly an issue for me when it was just end of content it hit right. it hit a roadblock and there was nothing to do i mean it, the game is completely front-end loaded 
when, when, when you right. hit a right. certain point, then you're you're stuck. You're just spinning in a circle. There's nothing to do. Like I said, they're just now getting to a point where they're going to add a raid. Right, right. Which most MMOs normally start with at least Are, with, one. What was yeah, the last MMO have, that yeah, did that? Something. What, with no raid? Anthem. Oh, my God. Yeah, Same I mean, thing. Honestly. Honestly, I loved Anthem. I love the concept of Anthem. Me too. I, I loved it. It was a great game. And I wish they would have kept uh, the Anthem 2.0 going. Right, I think if they would have done it, I think it would have bounced back. I think I it could have right pulled on. a No Man's Sky. But I was no, just going to say, it, if they No Man's Skyed it, that game would have been a really front runner to oh, take out Destiny. Yeah, it really would have. Because it was beautiful they, and such a they, neat they concept. Yeah, they cut their costs and they didn't believe in their own product is what it was. Yeah. It's EA, dude. But, you knew that was gonna mess up. Oh, oh yeah. It's just, but you know, I had faith in it. It had it such a cool to. concept. It didn't have but, to. Uh, it didn't have to. Yeah, it's, uh, it's such a missed opportunity there. But anyway, back to New World. Again, it was, it was too front and loaded, and that's why you had this huge upswing in players. They all hit the end of the game, and most of them just just gone because there's nothing to grab people's attention. Right. Unless you unless you're super into the crafting scene. There's nothing really for you anymore, and no. like and like you said, the PvP was it's, it's, it's atrocious. It yeah, doesn't it work well. So even PvP players decided to give it up for the most part because there's nowhere to be truly competitive in a system that runs that bad. Right, and they need like 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 instance PvP, like like how WoW does with the with battlegrounds and stuff yeah. like that. They they need that, and also like. Uh, I, I'm gonna give him. A, I'm gonna give him a, a hand clap for uh, mutators. You know, the harder difficulty in the dungeon, but after you do them so many times, like you're still in the same place. Like there, there, there should be something more to work for. So speaking of of games like that, where they're just not polished, finished product. Uh, Jay's chat brought up Cyberpunk. Who's played Cyberpunk? Yeah, I have. I, uh, I, I, I just downloaded it. I just Day downloaded one. it. Just now. And I, I I love the game like, but it's I don't know like it, it just it was it was buggy. I mean I'm it looks good. It's a beautiful game. Like I say, it it got me from the from the visuals, and uh, you know it just it, it didn't snatch me all the way in. You know, I was one of the very lucky few that apparently didn't experience all the bugs that most people did. So yeah. I actually got my first playthrough win. It was relatively smooth. There was a hitch or two every now and then, but my experience was mostly positive. And the patches have only made it better so far. So at this point, me yeah. personally, I say now definitely worth a play, can't play. Yeah, so that, I just I'll downloaded it on PS5, more. and I downloaded it like a few weeks back. And then, like I said, Horizon came out, then Elden Ring came out. And it was the first time they re-released it on the PS5 Play Store, right? Remember they banned it, like it was just yeah. not there. Poor and, Bob. Um, yeah, and so I ended up getting on there, and I I got to the uh, the 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 bathtub scene and the titty, like you know what I mean? She's got the titty out. She's just like you're holding her, and you see titty. You know what I mean? That's what you, <laughs> anybody that has played it knows what I'm talking about. And you're I didn't like, play it. Wa you're walking her out to the, you know, the the hospital. I'm like, dude, I, I don't even know what the game's about. All I see is this titty, dude. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, then Elden Ring came out, and I was like, all right, man, I can't do any of this other stuff. But I, I do plan on going back. Yeah, Mike, uh, is it worth playing it? Yeah, yeah. Like I say, I, I could probably go through and, and and do a playthrough of it. Is it a multiplayer or is it like can you play with other no, people or is it single that, that player? That was game? another thing. That was another thing. Like, is if it was multiplayer, I would have put way more hours into it because that's the type of games I play. Like, I don't buy a game unless it's multiplayer, or if it's one like God of War that I've been waiting on forever, stuff like that. Like, yeah, they had uh, they planned on having a multiplayer situation for it, yeah. kind of like a GTA Five Online deal, right? But because of how it originally came out, they scrapped that idea entirely. So that probably will never come to fruition anymore. Right. So yeah, it, I mean, it, it'd be a super game for multiplayer. It, like it, it played, it played so smooth. I, the forty-five minutes I played, 
Like it was So isn't it, it was the case good. where you wanna play it either on PC or next gen console? You do not want to play it on Xbox One or PlayStation Four? You wanna avoid it, right? Yes. Um the quality for those is still not there. They're receiving the minimalist of patches. Graphically they're still just bugs. Yeah. If you're gonna play it, it's definitely next gen PC. I know that there's a lot of games that have come out um, just recently where I feel bad for people that are playing on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 because, like, those systems can't handle some of these new games. Like, PlayStation 5, you have to load the whole game onto the hard drive so it can play it right. And then some of these games are like, well, here's one disc for data and one disc for play. It's like, that seems like it's not, it's not well when you have to like have that kind of structure. <clears throat> so I know people I've talked to that have tried to play it on PlayStation 4, like if they try and come in and buy it on PlayStation 4, I'm like, you may want to consider not spending your money on that. Because <laughs> you can only get it on PlayStation 4 physically. Go yeah. ahead, Tim. No, I was going to ask Blue, um, since he's the MM, you know, he had the MMO question. Have you done any uh did any of y'all VR game? No. Um I've always uh, thought of it be interesting, but I've never pulled that trigger. The reason why I'm asking is because they released the first VR MMO about three weeks ago. It's called Zenith. And I've been playing it and it's super fun. Um, but it's kinda you know, I mean, like it's not what you get on a PC. It's not what you get on a PC, all right? But what I was telling uh, Sonny, I was telling Sonny about this story. I'm over here grinding uh, to level up. And the cool part about it is, is that you have this headset on. You can hear people talking around you, which is kind of cool because it makes you feel like you're in a real world. And I'm over here grinding some low level monsters to level up. And all of a sudden I hear dungeon, dungeon 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 and i'm like what the hell is going on it sounded like more than just one person and then in vr right i turn around and i see on the little road path that i you know in the world that i'm in there's like 20 people on the road running to the dungeon and they're all chanting, and their hands are going up because you got the remotes and stuff, and everybody's like, dungeon. And then I jump in, and we go, <laughs> and we destroy the dungeon virtually. All together, celebrate, party, super happy, and this is all done in VR. That's dope. Exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm just telling that's you. That's crazy, yeah. If you this, I'm not I, I I'm not a salesman for Zenith, but that sold me right there, and it's it's pretty fun. Like if so, if y'all ever do VR, just hit me up. I need to get me an Oculus so bad. Welcome, my boy Castro, to the podcast. He in the building. Yes, sir. I can see that polo from a mile away. Yeah, I tried to bring a man like uh, what's his name, Steve Harp. You know what I'm saying, but. <laughs> But yeah, CT, you can jump in too. We 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 at the 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 random topics. So, but uh, yeah, it, uh, MMO wise, like I'm I'm looking for that one. Like I'm gonna give New World another shot once this patch hits and see how it goes. And uh, you know, like uh, World of Warcraft, like I put so much time into that. Like I definitely want it to do good. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's it's a uh, Hey man, you if know. you ever hit up Final Fantasy, I'll be your chauffeur. I was <laughs> Final Fantasy's just... great, man, dude. You gotta you gotta try it. I can't believe you haven't, Jay. I haven't, but That's amazing. Like I, I just have so many games. Like I, I got That's games the problem I is we're, yet. we're backlogged yeah. and we gotta finish Destiny, get that raid going on, and once that cools down, then jump into something else and then what's gonna be out by then. Yeah, so that's know. that's the hard part. I said never ending wheel. It's the only reason I don't have Elden Ring yet. Oh, Elden Ring is so good. I, 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 I want to knock one of these raids out on Destiny, and, and I want to do some Lost Ark stuff, and I want to do, like, some wild stuff. I want to play Warzone. Like, it's just, I, I wish I had, like, eight hands, and, and 
six set of eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's I don't even much. know if I could cover my backlog being jobless right now. Like, it's Man, just there's really? so many games. You know, exactly. you, you say it's a it's good time of the year. Money. Sonny, you, you say it's hard to save money, and I did this. When I switched from Xbox to the PS5, I said, I'm not doing it this time. I'm not going to buy games. I'm not going to have a backlog. Every game that I buy, I'm going to complete. And right. we, we're linked. Me and – me and, I, I hope I hope PlayStation's not listening. Me and him are linked, right? Oh, it's totally so legal. He, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Well, hey, you know what? I had a, re- I accidentally bought a, I accidentally bought Horizon the other day. Well, get a refund. And I had to call them to get a refund, and they, they freaking questioned the shit out of me because I had already played it. And they're like, so, you, <laughs> so do you own the game? I'm like, yeah, I do already. But then your store doesn't recognize that and made me buy it. They're like, well, how did that happen? Do you ha- own it digital? Do you have a, a, um, a hard copy? I said no. It was it was a um, it was a code, and they were like, "Oh, well, let me let me get one." But I was on I was on the phone with them for an hour. I know this is completely sidetracked, but I was on the phone with them for an hour, and then they finally refunded me my seventy five dollars. I was like, "Oh my god, man, no way!" Like, try try give me the fifty grand. Yeah, dude, they they really did. They tried to grill me on the fact that I had been playing the game. I said, I said, ma'am, you can clearly see that I bought it twenty minutes ago because that's uh, that's how long it took me like to get on the phone twenty minutes ago. And you can also, if you're you're seeing that I have gameplay, you can see that my gameplay was way before that. Because Just I've tell been me playing, where I, for I GameStop even, they can't get t- your they I can't get your employee her. number or anything. I even they told love her, I said, GameStop. You can clearly see that I've been spending my life on Elden Ring, and I haven't played Horizon in two we- uh, in a week and a half. So it was an accident, okay? Just give me my money back. And she's like, "Well, let me get on. The- let me let me get on my manager. I'm sorry it's taking so long." I said, "Okay." And then yeah, she ended up giving me the refund. So that's hilarious. Whatever. Stupid. It was dumb. <laughs> Why did you buy it? <laughs> it was an accident. My my uh. My PayPal is hooked to my PlayStation, so if I, okay, you want to know the real reason? Because I had been playing Arceus so much on the Switch, and the buttons are different for the uh. select, and I was trying to back out on the PlayStation, and I had been playing Arceus, and I, I ended up double selecting, and it, it bought it just instantly. If you That's if funny. you ever hook up your card or your PayPal to a PlayStation, that's what happens. That's dangerous. Hilarious. Yeah, my son Fortnite me one time. I Ooh. Had to, I had to change that up. Yep. Yeah, it was yeah. some crazy number, like the big pack or whatever, V Bucks or whatever, the big pack. And I was like, 99 bucks or uh-huh. something. I was like, oh no. Like, <laughs> for a Superman cape. <laughs> like, you're saying, Jay, is you really had 99 problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Fortnite, Fortnite was one. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm Who's telling that? you, uh, Blue Tarski's in the building, folks. Man, we got this is becoming a party. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I need some more beers. Yeah, we got me we CT got. to keep it separated between yeah. the two blues. CT and blue, blue dog or CT, <laughs> yeah. man. Blue regard and blue dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what's next? Give me a topic. Give me a topic. Let's go. I know one of y'all got something up. What's there. your favorite uh, chapstick? Oh, oh my god. Chap- I'm just Ooh. kidding, dear. I'm just kidding. <laughs> dude. Don't answer that, man. I don't, no, know. I don't give a shit what your favorite chapstick is. Why is it got meant for I don't think I want to be here anymore now. I just yeah. joined up. I think I should leave. Chapstick, chapstick. Yeah, Chad, you can give us a topic, too. Go ahead and hit it up. Uh, post in the uh, comments right there. We'll talk about it. But yeah, that's man. Uh, MMOs, MMOs, MMOs. Uh, I, I need one. Because that's, that's actually like that and first-person shooters are like I could play either one the same amount of time. So uh, I bread just, butter. Yeah, All right, we've good. got we've got a full group. We're going. What is the best cereal of all time? Ooh, we're going. There. Go. We're going there. He just started. He's... I just hit you. Hit you in the belt. No, dude, bro. For anyone to try to name the their favorite is that's hard, man. There's so many good cereals. But what's the know, best? I know you got a favorite. 
Mm-mm. I can easily win this right now. Ooh, hold on, win. hold on. I'm gonna throw one out there that I already won. So go ahead. Look, my top fives are all of my favorites. So. Okay, well, if you you don't Rice play by those rules, treats. I got you. <laughs> Rice, Rice Krispie treats. treats. Oh my god. All right, so the yeah. greatest cereal ever made What's you can't get anymore. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles checks with the marshmallows from the 80s. Oh, I get that was the best cereal ever made. Bro. Ever. I don't know, man. man. Back memories. Pac-Man had a cereal, too. That yeah. Was yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, <laughs> but it's current, we, we... current gen, if you're not buying the bags of s'mores cereal, it's got Golden Grams, Cocoa Puffs, and Little White Creamy Marshmallows in it. It is the best cereal ever made. Is it in the bag or the box? It's in the bag. It's that cheap oh, yeah. stuff. The bags, <laughs> the bags is killing the game right now, man. Oh, my God. Liddell said we old. He said, y'all old. Come yeah. on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, you say, you say you're old. As you said, we're I'm back to cereal. Like I freaking like I like like special K. Like the you're super old. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm super, I'm I super need old, my man. fiber. I, need some, I, fucking, yep. I freaking like uh like uh grape Simitos nuts. Crunch though. Simitos crunch. That's just good. Yeah. Hold on. Tim, hey, Tim, on that note, I'm, I'm Tim going loves, to some real quick yeah. on grape nuts. I'll be yeah, right. Tim hey, loves special. Are we gonna K be those guys? guys? <laughs> Are we going to be those old guys that join up at the cafe or the diner and have breakfast or lunch every damn day, old man corner? That's, mm-hmm. that's what it seems like. I feel like I'm on an episode no, of well, Seinfeld that's okay. right now. <laughs> That's a life goal, okay? That's a life goal. Jesus Tim Christ. brings his own special K to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> two, two new people join, and you're like, All right, what's y'all's favorite cereal? And I'm, hey, I'm like, you okay, want a topic? Like, We're talking food. Cereal is an easy one to like get into your, a heated debate. I feel like we're playing twenty questions, and you're like, "Hey, what's your favorite cereal?" Like, I mean, favorite favorite uh, ice cream. Um, oh, you guys wouldn't even be able to figure mine out because it was only up in New, well, up in the East Coast. It's called my favorite ice cream, and it was the birthday cake one. It was chocolate with brownies mixed into it, and then creamy vanilla, and it was layered in the box. So when you open, because these are in the cartons that opened on both ends, like not the tubs nowadays. Bro, and you they're cut it, and it lost, was like ice cream lost. cake. They're lost in your beard, dude. They're gone. They're gone. It's over. You can't see me. Man, I, I'm only jealous. Uh, the reason why, I, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I talk about his beard so much is because I'm jealous because I can't grow one. I hear no, that. I can't grow one. Just stop shaving. It's amazing what happens. No, dude. Like, I no, it just, this side right here just doesn't grow in. This side right here, it's like, nice this, <laughs> you get so the joe I would dirt be like left side i would have to be like i would have to be like this every time we talk like hey what's up how are you doing uh yeah i know it's great and then I, when i turn right it's just nothing <laughs> one side's getting carded the other side's i would say just keep shaving you know and it'll you, eventually get you there can do the robot like jt yeah you can do the robot like JT. You feel me? <laughs> I, I used to be able to not uh, grow hair in the corner of my mouth and uh, where my sideburns connect to the top of my hair. But oh, man. Clean lines but, that way. But now he can connect his sideburns to the top of his hair and yeah. his mustache. So, Just keep shaving, man. It, yeah, it's landlocked now. So... Angie was asking grits or oatmeal. That's a really good question. Depends on how oatmeal. I feel. Oatmeal. Grits. Oatmeal. Grits. Grits. Every it all, day. It, it all hey, but look, but look, but look. Meal. Unless okay. there's shrimp involved. Shrimp and grits is great. Oh, I fish it, and grits. Fish and cheese fish grits. Grits, grits, man. What, grits, man. What about, okay, on your grits? Let's, 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 no, no seafood in it, but cheese. is it salt or sugar? Salt. Salt and pepper. I never been butter. to jail, so it's salt. Grits. Yeah. And oh, boy, Liddell say sugar. grits. Man, okay, okay. I'm both ways. I can do them salt, pepper, you, sugar, you, syrup, you, whatever. You do look like a both ways kind of guy. Oh, no, dang, no. dude. Come on. It's your first time on the podcast. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> if you want sweet, that's what cream of wheat's for, man. Yeah. Cream man. of wheat, dude. Cream, cream of wheat, bro. Cream of wheat. So, it's what delicious. is, okay, what's the difference between. Cream of wheat and malto meal. Smaller grains. Brand name? Okay. Because wow. all of them nasty except grits. All of them nasty except for grits. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
Dude, cheesy grits <laughs> with Zumo sausage and eggs over easy. Ooh. Man, I'm out. Yep. See you hey, later. Grits, bud. Yeah, bud. Oh, that's the yes, best sir. meal that like put that on your application, ladies. Like that's hey, the fastest if, if way to my heart. Had, if y'all haven't had a Zumo sausage, you're missing out. Nobody you, even knows oh what that is. God, I'm, man. People, people need to know what that is. That yeah, needs to yeah. be more than just a Southern Texas thing. Like, it yeah, needs it, it needs, it needs, but it's made right here. Like, I live in Orange, and it's made twenty five minutes away in Beaumont, Texas. Bro, like, we are, we are oh so my close. God. Me and her are so close. Mm. I drive down to Where Jim's house just to get Zumos I'm and over, say I'm, I'm hanging out with him. Oh, that, that Sunday, that's the Lumberton friend. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. We, right, we right by each other. Yeah, yeah I'll go out to Tim's yeah. house for the weekend, drink a bunch of bunch of whatever we got to drink, and then I'll hit up Walmart, get Zumos on the way back because they don't have them in Austin anywhere close to me, say and it's only I, uh, four hours Zumos, away. Say if I like, I, I made two Zumos on a plate. I'm sitting down, got my bread, about to eat it, and like if somebody like reach for it, like they hold from shoulder down, it's gonna be missing. I'm telling you, Zumos are like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> like you reach for this one, you, you coming back. <laughs> hey, hey you know, straight. he was the one that was talking about that Pac-Man cereal. He just went Pac-Man on whoever. T- you feel me? Like, z- uh, you might as, well, might as well get another hot dog bun and put the arm in it because it's, it's, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, but that's, man. Like you I'm said bacon, now. eggs, and grits. Oh, bacon! Shit. Like, sure, bacon, eggs, and grits are great, but Zumo's eggs and grits. I yeah, like. Zumo. Oh, that's man. the best. Hey, but it. I mean, I don't know if y'all have Beasley. Beasley is like a is coming up. The Beasley's green onion. all right. Oh, the, green onion, the green onion, dude. Ooh. Oh, it is good, man. Yeah, like, if man. If, if for whatever reason I can't find Zumo's, which is very uh, rarely, that Beasley. And I will tell you that Beasley Green Onion, so super good in gumbo. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So oh good. yeah. Nothing beats nothing lying. beats Zumo's in gumbo though. Like it's hard for me to consider getting you the can Beasley. Do both. You could do both. Like yeah, I mean, you could. Both. You could. Hey, this Zumo. I mean, Beasley. Beasley got a got a good thing going on, man. And they putting they Zumo starting to like used to get six in the in the regular pack, not the big pack. It's like five. Like yeah, they, they drop they come down. They put in a pack now, yeah. For, yeah, but then for, I'm dropping a, a higher I'm, price. I'm dropping a bill every time I go out to Tim's house just on sausage. How's that look? You know, this dude's it means, buying a lot it means of sausage. He loves sausage. He likes the sausage. Big come, sausage. The big pack come with like it, it was twelve. Thirty-two ounces. Like okay. For such but a yeah. small sausage man, you love big sausage man. You know what I mean? I'm a pretty. <laughs> I'm I'm a pretty decent sized dude. I'm not small. Oh, man. It went over your head, man. It's way over there. No, we're it's, not it's... talking about that on the stream. We said we don't talk about that. On I didn't. Stream. T- oh, you said politics and religion. Yeah, some of this is uh, this politics and religion down there. Oh, uh, some people wouldn't say that's religious. <laughs> and it's me. <laughs> that man say we old man. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, what's An- next? What's next? Angie we asked do. pancakes or waffles while we're on the breakfast. Food. Pancakes or waffles. Yeah, let's change it. Pancakes. We don't need Pancakes. to know about that. Waffle, waffles too Pancakes. much bread. Pancakes. Pancakes. Pancakes? Oh, Pancakes. I don't know. If it's waffle that Texas me, shape man. one, if it's that Texas shape <laughs> waffle, waffle. If I'm if I'm hungover and I'm at a hotel, then waffle. But yeah, yeah. If, so good morning, pancake. Well, you I think McDonald's it. has the best pancakes. No, dude. You, I love McDonald's what? pancakes. Man, to be honest, Whataburger. Waterburger, they do it right, dude. Uh, yeah, they I mean, they breakfast period is like, man, anything on the breakfast menu is good. But that I usually chicken, don't go out to chicken eat butter and... biscuit or whatever. Oh, oh man, chicken ho- honey butter biscuit, honey butter chicken biscuit, honey butter chicken oh, biscuit. God. That's drunk the food. They'll say waffle. I, it really okay. I, I might be down the middle on on pancakes and waffles too. So why don't like, they it, why don't they cross a pancake and a waffle? You know what I mean? Why not? Yeah. Cause it's yeah. the same thing, just one's cooked different. The same it's the batter. Same, huh? same batter. <laughs> is it? Is yeah. it the same batter? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, just waffle right, batter's right. thicker, <laughs> less water in it. <laughs> it's the So it's the same thing. So yeah, we, no matter what you answer, is it's 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 the same. 
So you want to Somebody said something about waffles with wings. So Angie said that. Uh, what do y'all feel about like chicken waffle? Like chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles? Yeah, chicken I waffle. Like chicken, I don't like chicken. I don't never heard. Of, I've never had a chicken waffle, but <laughs> you know, fried chicken and waffles with some syrup. Yeah, that shit good. It's a banger. Okay. That's I, that's what tried, a chicken waffle is. Uh, I never had waffles with wings. I'm from the south. Everything got gravy on it. My wings, I'm from I'm from Buffalo, New York. Every it's, everything's a buffalo wing. I don't really try this weird sauces that's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm a purist. Uh, but yeah, um uh, pancakes at the We talked we talked about cereal, breakfast, we got breakfast food. What's going on? The deal with the cheese foods, grits. Food's always easy to talk about. We could talk about what's the best kind of cheese. You talk about What's the best cut of steak and how to cook it the best? I mean, there's a lot of options here. Let's get on steak because uh, no, well, this is going to be an argument. <laughs> this is going to be an argument. All right, ribeye. I'm going to go ahead. Porterhouse, man. I love a porterhouse. T-bone. I'm a ribeye man myself as well. Ribeye's winning. Bone-in yeah, ribeye yeah. or? What about yeah, other? Definitely a T-bone. Oh, come on with a case, bro. We tied. We, yeah, tied. We, yeah. we need a tiebreaker. We need a tiebreaker. Where's the other one? Blue. I, I, I haven't been that damn uh, special to be able to eat that kind of damn meat. Oh, dang. <laughs> I mean, I've got ribeyes now in my uh, freezer from that cow that I got, but oh, other man. than that, man, I, I, I cooked a KC strip, man, that just it, it melted in your mouth, man. It was like butter. A, I, I miss with it. Uh, hey, I will tell you this: out of oh, everything, though, uh, tom the tomahawk, the tomahawk, steak, tomahawk ribeyes are. Come on, baby. They're fire, man. They're so good. Come on, baby. But oh, damn, a porterhouse like, is just a big T-bone. It's roughly the same cut. You just get more of the fillet, yeah. which the fillet is oh, okay. That's what? like the best. Well, that's the best of both worlds, then, because they were so, the winners. Yeah. And I, I'm probably going to lose some friends with this, but I'm a medium well. Oh, he likes shoe okay. leather. We're not judging. Right. We don't judge on this. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to join the other, like I'm going to join the other streamers where they do this. <laughs> do this. I want mine doing a little bit still. Ooh. Jay's about Liddell to be left out of medium, island. Medium or medium rare. Medium. Steak medium rare. Medium so good. Medium Man. rare. Man. I'm a, I'm a medium yeah. guy. Sirloin's good too. I know it didn't get any love, Angie, but sirloin's a nice, flavorful steak. Like I'll tell you, be yeah, it is. flat out honest. If somebody's like, "I'm gonna buy you a steak," and you don't have to pay for it, but I'm gonna pick the cut, I'll be like, "Okay, yeah, I'll eat whatever you put absolutely. in front of me." Yeah, there's I mean, always a pair, but it's all good. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say it. But if in I'm going world, by, in what world would somebody be like, "Nah, fuck that, I don't want no steak"? There's like, some you know, worlds. Like, like, <laughs> Hey, there's a pig Spider-Man. There's multiverses of people that are like, no, I don't want that. I'm just I mean, saying. I guess you're right. Vegetarians. But if, if I if I go to the stout to, 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 to the to stout, the stout. To the store. <laughs> if I go to the stout, yeah. If I go to the store and buy it, it's a T-bone. Like that. That's just you know. What I'm saying? But if I, I eat all meat, whatever, I don't care what the cut right. is or whatever. But if, if I'm going by it, it's going to be a T-bone. And you said, I couldn't you're talking about shit, controversy. Man. So uh, here's the controversy. This is the controversial part of the uh, steak conversation. How do you cook your steak? Come on, Emerald either, Lugosi. Either, I, either. I'm not Emerald ahead, Lugosi. I'm more of a guy fieri with the spike hair, according to my other friends that aren't really very good friends but anyway um side note a angie's comment was hilarious she said platt like to shake the whole table when he cuts his steak <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he, like he mad at something <laughs> so i i've seen people cook their steaks in a plethora of ways uh the whole skillet in the oven thing throws me off like oh that's disgusting bro yeah. if you're gonna cook a steak mm. Do it the way God intended and bless that thing with fire. Mm -hmm. Like I get my pit, yeah, I get my pit as hot as I humanly can get possible. And then I freeze the steaks. Like I try to get the steaks frozen because I get it so hot. I do what's called the Pittsburgh style. So 
I, I put olive oil on it so the seasoning stays on the frozen steak, and then I literally just coat it in Montreal seasoning. So the Pittsburgh style is also referred to as the black and blue, which outside is severely charred, inside is cold still. I don't like it rare, so I go medium. So what I do is I freeze the steak so it's basically I thaw it out as I cook it over this really high heat. Otherwise, I get the J steak, which now I'm mad at, and I have to, you know, use like a chainsaw to cut so if you freeze it it doesn't cook in the center as fast and i can get it really really hot get it really close to those coals and i can sear the outside of that steak this is where like the ribeye shine because you can sear that fat and that fat becomes yeah, like the crispy yeah. bits and it's just heavenly but you give it like depending on the steak and how hot it is it's hard to really gauge charcoal so it's just like you know what i'm just going as hot as i can so i usually do like five minutes on either side the inside's going to be nice and pink with a little bit of blood the outside's going to be seared to hell and back and it's just man it is it is a heavenly it, way to cook steak i promise honey, you that. no offense, say man. air fryer you, air fryer is not a bad realize, thing. you do realize there is a temperature gauge on your grill right you said there's no way to gauge coal Just he must have got one of those carved out barrels so oh, i have man. a i have a 36 inch pit and i'm cooking like two steaks on one direct spot so to try and get the temperature plus on my thing i have to do some modifications because it leaks heat but i just know how to cook with it so essentially, I don't know if this is running at like 700 or 900 degrees direct heat versus just heating up the chamber to like 350 degrees. So that's why I freeze it so that I can sear the outside. It thaws the frozen steak, but doesn't overcook the steak. That's just my little Dude, homemade secret. Next time secrets. you come down, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna all we're gonna both Jay's gonna come over too. We're gonna all cook steak different ways. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just oh, need yeah. a charcoal. I just need a charcoal pit. That's it. Uh, I come over you know, there. I'm, I'm, there I'm different. I don't. I don't like my steak on a grill. I prefer. Uh -oh. Really? Cast, I, I prefer. There's cast the cast iron, iron skillet. Cast I told iron. you. I'm, I'm I prefer the cast iron. You know, you put a little butter in it with some Worcestershire sauce. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Fresh, you see, fresh garlic. Some fresh garlic, yes, sir. Ooh, but a little, a, a little onion a little, with it. A little ba baste uh, it. Baste it. Oh, baby. Oh my okay, god! Okay. You talking about Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri ain't got nothing on me. I'm telling you right now. He got his own, his, he, he got his own TV show, but he ain't Castro. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's how I cook if my I, salmon. If I had I, I, I like, to eat I like steak out of a pan, I, I'm guessing that Castro stands for a kiss, kitchen bistro because he fucking knows how to, no how to do it. No lie, you know, I like he, I, I like to cook so much. My family got me a custom apron that says uh. Bobby Crocker. So, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say, Blue? I was gonna say it, for for a pan fried steak, it has to be breakfast. Mm. Oh, okay. So, time of the day with oh. eggs. Mm, now, if it's a and dinner, and yeah, steak, taters. egg, Ooh. grits. You know, now, see, now, see, grits if good you too. Yeah. Gravy. If, if you're gonna do steak for dinner or for breakfast, if you want to do it that way, you can still do it in a cast iron and use the left oil, leftover oil to do the eggs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people are just like, man, that's kind of gross. You know, you got the grease no, that's all not over gross it. at all. No, that's the, best the same damn grease. Part. That's still you, ain't, you ain't gotta season it. If that's I want a primo. dinner steak, uh, I want a grill. Primo, primo, yeah. primo. What and also, the Italian man over there. Uh, <laughs> primo, the primo. Honey. Except for I thaw the steaks out, I put the Montreal seasoning back on it, go throw them back in the refrigerator, you know, until I'm ready to do it about an hour before I'm ready to uh, grill them. Then I'll pull them out, let them come up to room temperature a little bit, throw them on the uh, grill, get my marks on it, pull them off to the side, and then I'll put a, a piece of apple or cherry wood on there and smoke them for about uh, five to ten minutes before I serve them. That sounds good as hell. I like it. I tent mine Let afterwards. Say cooking me a steak tomorrow. Well, we didn't. There was some major hate appetite, for air man. fried steak, but I'll tell you what: if you air fry a, like a pork butt in the air fryer, you're gonna get like rub that thing with Tony's, and then air fry a fatty piece of like uh like a pork roast, bro. Yeah. You're gonna have cracklings and like pork. You chop that thing up like. Put some barbecue sauce, throw it in some tortillas. Holy God Almighty, it is amazing. I like my, yeah, I like, I like my pork butts, cool booty. Cool booty. 
<laughs> you might want to cook that pork butt. You do not want to eat pork butt. Cool, oh, okay. Nah, hell no. Nah. You're going to get worms. Yes, sir. Be scooting your butt across the yep. carpet. You got worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tripping me out, man. This is crazy, right? Here. I'm telling like you, I said, food. I'm going to have fun trying to figure out uh, what to do with the tongue on the heart of this uh, cow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the tongue. Uh, Liver. Besides you, burrito. You can, you can stew it. You can stew the tongue. Like a, yeah, uh, I, I'll tell you exactly what to do with that tongue. Tacos. Listen, li- listen close. You want to listen close. <laughs> you want to, you want to take that. You want to season it however you want, right? Mm-hmm. Then you open up your trash can, and throw that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hey, the tongue, man. Shit. My wife had it before and had it in tacos, and she said it tastes just like regular beef. Yeah, yeah, it's like a roast. It's like a like, like a, a roast a, meat, a is what stringy she said. roast. Yeah, I, I experienced. I remember I was a kid and we went to this Mexican restaurant, and I was like, ah, eh, you know, I'll try it. I was like, oh no, eight. So they brought it out, and it was like a whole damn tongue. Oh no! Tongue. Oh no! And I, I, and, and I was like, <laughs> from here on out, you know, I didn't even look at people the right way. Never no, again. my understanding is you're supposed to boil it down and get the outside uh, skin it's layer like or whatever off. It off yeah. It's, it's yeah. just yeah. like I went to, you know, I went to a friend's house in high school up in West Orange, and he was like, uh, he said. Yeah, we're having chitlins. I didn't know what the fuck a chitlin oh, was. Oh, no. I went over yeah, to that yeah. house. So y'all hey, getting into my territory now. That's that, right that, here. Hey, no, that, yeah. house, that house smells so damn bad. Hey, they, they smell bad, <laughs> I walked, but they so I walked good. in there. I was, I, was, I was like, man, everyone was outside. So like, oh, give it a try. And I was like, all right, so it must just be something inside that just stunk, right? I put nope. that shit in my mouth. And I, you know what? I don't think I just talked to him until this day. I, I still, <laughs> what? what? That's Are you just kidding so me? Gross. Oh man, they that's didn't cook. It. They didn't cook those chitlins right then, man. Because oh yeah, that, it's, if you have, if you get them from, like, if I cook them, like you, you probably eat them. Like I tell I mean, you what, you, wait, you, wait, you probably I, fucked off from the first experience, so you probably never tried it. You know, when when I come back home and I see all you guys, I'm still not trying that. So, <laughs> so what about liver? How do y'all like your liver? Uh, the the same trash all. can blew through the tongue in. Nope, keep it keep it in the body or throw it away. Yep. Ooh, oh dang! Oh dang! Got, a, no got an, another opponent. Oh, that's Mikey, huh? Mikey, let's go. Let's go. Mikey, you on the podcast, babe? What's up? Oh, when we gonna get, when we gonna what's get up, people, Mikey? When we gonna get some more people on video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get back, uh, cam. Who got I cam? don't have a camera. I got. Yeah, okay. I get a camera as well. Maybe okay. next time. Next time, yeah, I get no, a camera. How's that sound? No problem. Y'all got no phones. Problem. They got yeah. cameras on them. Yeah, a lot, a lot of girls out there making good content with just their phones. Plus, plus I don't want to have to go do myself up and make you guys jealous. Oh, God. Oh, here we that's go. What it is. He, that boy got his makeup <laughs> in, another, in another room. Don't make me go straighten this beard out. Yeah, this go get thing. it. <laughs> oh, I got to get Pop Ross first, then I'll get on. <laughs> she say liver smothered with onion gravy over rice. No. I, liver is like. Dude. Like I said into that. Andy, I did that the other Andy, night. Andy, Andy and Chad. I, I like Andy, liver is like that's the one that that, that I'm there's sorry, I few there. things in this world that smell as good as walking into a house when they're cooking liver and onions. Like, ooh, what's cooking? And then you see it, you're like, you got it. Liver, kid. yeah. Like, nah, like we're we're eating. I had, <laughs> I had liver and onions with uh, mushrooms as well with uh, brown Mm-mm. gravy over the top of it. Mm-mm. No, thank you. I'll be on a diet. I eat so like, There's so dude, many other like things I said, that are tasty that, yeah, you might be right, but why? You know what It's I mean? good. It's good, but it's only something that I eat a couple times a year. It's not something that's, you know, several times a month kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's just like the That's like cool thing. booty. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> I'll eat it a that, couple times a year. That cool booty. <laughs> I do. I eat that's that cool the thing, booty but when I do eat it, because I don't eat it that often, I really enjoy it when I eat it. Yeah, Man, yeah. we need two That's more people so we like, can play Hollywood smoke. Squares. We ain't cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like we're not this. cooking chitlins. We're not we're not cooking chitlins every day, but you know, <laughs> once or twice a year is is you know it's a big thing for like my family. They all put in and it's a big old huge pot, and mostly come right like a crawfish ball or something like that. Ooh. It's mostly like something like that. So it's that you time know, of the year for crawfish to too. 
Mm. That's about to happen over here, man. Oh, yeah? They already we, got some festivals out here. Crawfish Festival? Yeah, I missed the Crawfish Festival at the dance hall I go to when I was out seeing Tim last time. I was like, yeah, I, I try to wait. I try to wait. Uh, yeah, because they're small. The si- the March and what? April. Yeah, because when I was growing up, like, you know, up until like 25 or so, like, crawfish season didn't start till February. Start till later, yeah. Yeah, Man. now they like November, like, and Thanksgiving. They rushed they it have for the Christmas. Thanksgiving people at Spanky's eating, eating crawfish and they Is Spanky's like, even still there? It's not, it's, yeah. It's, I think it's, it's, it's honest, like 16th owner, but, you know, it's still there. Uh-huh. Well, it's honestly yeah. because the money, the money's there. And they make so much money on that. And so they're like, all right, let's extend this out. Let's see. And so every year they're like, all right, let's see. They're a little bit smaller. Let's see if they, these people will buy them. And oh, yeah. they're like, people people come rushing in. And they're like, it's all right, smaller. all right, let's, let's roll it back a little bit more next year. And then Yeah, now, exactly. Now we're here, we're here. It's like Jan into January. Like it's crawfish season. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like no. And now it's like now it's like you gonna trick or treat and have a crawfish ball at the same time. Fourth of July crawfish ball. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's 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 wild. No, no, thank you, man. And and then they charge so much now. It's like yeah, it's like seven eight dollars a pound. A pound. Like, Hey man, I'm, I'll I, I'll pay every cent of it. Yeah, but I, I, like I, I will when, here I will house. when they're they're of size. Hey, but sure. you know the new thing, well, the, the 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 latest thing with crawfish, man. Like if you want to pull your old lady or something, all you gotta do is buy a crawfish these days. These motherfuckers out here jump go crazy for crawfish in my city. Like you could buy a crawfish and you got a date. I've had crawfish like six hey. times this season already. Dude. Damn. Yeah. Gumbo I Mikey. I haven't hit my first one yet. I haven't hit my first yeah, one yet. I haven't either, man. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to buy, just buy my first couple of bags myself. I'm yeah. waiting for the size. I'm gonna do a bowl myself. And yeah, let me know, man. Uh, I, I move. I'll come out there with a bag. The only one that <laughs> has up, that, I, the only one that's not from Texas is Blue Dog. So I want to know: yeah. Have you ever had crawfish? Yes, they call them crawl dads over here, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, we, we use a little slang. Crawdad. Mud bugs, crawdad. Yeah, crawdad so I'm or... not from Texas well, yeah, originally Louisiana? either. We have like, we have crayfish up north, but we don't eat them. You say. graduated from <laughs> West Orange. I mean, you kind of know. For me, no. I did. I graduated from New York, up in New York. He lived in Orange. Yeah, he, I, he lived out I here did, but I didn't. Like, I went to school up north. I moved down here when I was 30. So... Like, we didn't have crawfish boils up there. We didn't have seafood boils, period. Like, I mean, you could go to a restaurant and get crab and stuff and lobster, but that's not, like, not the culture up there. Like, Greek food, pizza wings, like, that's, you know. We we didn't even put barbecue, like, six, seven months out of the year because you have to go barbecue in, like, five feet of snow. So it's like, "Mm, nah, just, yeah. Bold crab or barbecue crab? (laughs) What's that, Tim? Uh, like bold crab or a, a barbecue crab? Which no, one? no, there was no barbecue crab up there. No, I'm like, asking, like, what what would you prefer on crab? Man, that barbecue butter. crab is something serious. I like boil, like I like a I seafood like both boil, of them, but, like a nice yeah. spicy seafood. Boil. Like I moved down here and like I got introduced to Cajun food, and like my first crawfish boil was like, all right, this is okay, and then they're like, all right, we're gonna bring you the hot stuff. It was with uh Chad, and um, I was like. I think he lived down in Port Arthur back then or Nederland or something weird. But, uh, um, stuffed. Ooh. Mm, so Ooh. he, uh, they have that cornbread stuffing, baby. Ooh. He did the, uh, oh, I man. got the spicy crawfish and I was like, that's it. I ended up dating a Cajun chick for like six years. I had to learn how to do the, uh, the bowl mall crawfish. Just she could do crawfish good. Mm-hmm. Have, you, oh. have you only been Damn. in relation, like long relationships? I mean, I I do. Uh, that's a that's a weird topic. We're talking food. Uh, Sorry. No. Uh, um, six year, and then the last girl you were with, you were with for how long? Well, I mean, there's really? periods between. Like my my I mean, there's original wife, I was with you know, her for like five he's years. He's fifty seven <laughs> years old. All Methu- Methuselah over here. Uh so. <laughs> I don't even yeah, know no. how to like. I was I've had three like long relationships, and I've dated a bunch of like, couple of months here and there in between. 
How long were your three relationships? Uh, my the long ones. So my ex-wife was the very first one. We had a very fun, interesting intro, but we were married Just, for five years. And five, then okay, that's five. this one chick, uh, she was like one of my best friends in high school. We hooked up and we were together for two and a half years. Okay, so two and a half. And then they, they, they are cycles. You talking about relationship cycles? <laughs> and <laughs> then this last one out. I was with for six years. Six years. Yeah. Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fifteen years of your life. That's crazy. I like uh like I got one long relationship and the rest of them are like two months, two months, two months, two months, two months. Yeah. Yeah, same. Not me, man. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey's one. Hey man, or... I used to I used to have girlfriends when the holiday seasons come around so I get presents and shit. Dude, I tried to do that. I tried to <laughs> like, like I hopped have... in. I tried <laughs> like, I hopped on the time... online dating oh, train right that's... before <laughs> Thanksgiving oh. so I could meet somebody and like Dude, they they got to be right for the picking. Nah, man. Man, I hate to sound that way, but this is true. Like, Christmas coming up. Let me tell you this one story, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. I was in high school, and this chick was a, a sophomore at Lamar University. Mm-hmm. And I was a senior. And anyways, man, <clears throat> we started hooking up, yada, yada. And uh, <laughs> she knew I was going to go to the Army. So she was like, we were chilling one time. She goes, man, I, I, I can't wait to be an army wife. And I go, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, You're going to have to wait a little longer. <laughs> and I was like, well, all right. So um, I broke up with her, obviously. I was like, ah, this ain't, this ain't working, right? I said, I don't want to be. I think my, my out was, uh, I don't want to be in a relationship when I'm in the military, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, and she took it bad. And she came, uh, she came over to the house unannounced. This is when I still live with my mom. I mean, I was a senior in high school, and um, she came in like unannounced at like nine o'clock at night one time, Oof. and she brought this whole package of shit of stuff that she got me and everything, and um, <laughs> uh, she's like, "I got this stuff for you for Christmas, but I guess I'll give it to you now since you don't want me in your life anymore." Oh my. <laughs> And I'm she like, damn, to pull she, on you, huh? she got me this stuff. Of, bro, it was August. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was August. And I'm you like, had oh, that man, girl. Like, I dodged ooh, a she bullet, was in love. Bro. Oh, man. Well, she, I remember her telling me some crazy ass stories, man. She, uh, I didn't have a car or anything, so uh, she had a car. And that was a big selling point for me. Yeah. <laughs> so. So uh, she dropped me. Gifts and transportation. You know, (laughs) that's when, uh, shit, man, that's when, uh, damn, I think that's when Diablo 3 came out and she copped that for me. (laughs) Dang, bro. I'm trying to remember. It always comes back to game. She'd be like, what do you want for your birthday? I said, man, no, this new game coming out, Diablo 3, I sure would like to have it. Sure would like to have it. (laughs) Sure enough, man. Oh, Planting man. those big How seeds. You... He planted you... avocado seeds. Dude, How did you? Re... Re... I did not realize that Mikey was in the stream right now, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. Why, are you... Have... why are you? Why are you not on film right now? I don't. I, don't, I can't. I tried to find my camera, man. I couldn't find it. I'll get it for next time. <laughs> oh not... my god! I dodged. Mikey's I dodged gonna be one board, of our man. guests coming up when we can get the time together. Yeah. <laughs> that boy right there has the best stories, man. Because he... I've never heard in my lifetime. Oh of women purchasing stuff for someone as oh, much I've got as the this guy. Story Mikey, can you tell it. us about the pizza girl? Yeah, oh, t- tell yeah. us about the pizza girl, man. Hold on, man. Let me take a sip of my coffee before mm-hmm. I get into this. He's going to close the door so his wife and kid can't hear the story. Oh, no, she knows. <laughs> she knows. She knows. So I was, knows. Playing, I was playing World of Warcraft. And I met this, uh, it was during Wrath of the Lich King. We were raiding Old Dwarf. You see how expansion. it always come back to gaming, though? It's like, yeah. that's yeah. dope. I'm a gamer, man. <laughs> yeah, well, here um, yeah. So I started raiding and everything, and I started talking in voice chat. I think we were on, like, Ventrilo or some shit. Old Ben days. So she sent me a message out of the blue, and she's like, hey, you know, uh, I really like your voice. Can I get your number? <laughs> And I'm like, all right. So yada yada, whoop de whoop. I gave her my number. She called me. She's like this middle aged chick in Florida. And uh, long part story of your raid short, team. Yeah, part of my raid team. <laughs> and 
and I started talking to her, and she started talking to me, blah, 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 blah. We won't get into everything. <laughs> uh, so I let her do what she wanted to do, you know, over the phone, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, time yeah, out. <laughs> time out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wish yeah. I had a record scratch. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's what she was into, man. She was really into me, I guess. Anyways. He does have uh, a sultry voice. So we're, yeah. all, we're like, we're so playing. You talk her through it? Yeah, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do, baby. You know. Do what you gotta you know. do. Yeah, you. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep ringing that doorbell. Hey, man. Somebody gonna answer the door, there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we got it. You ever you been gotta long push the doorbell till you, you see the light. You ever been away from your lady? You know what I'm saying? You got hey, you got, you got an imagination. Anyway, <laughs> um, so put we're your, sitting there. Put your leg on the dresser and tell me when you put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he already knows. So, You're about uh, to lose your wedding band over there. <laughs> we're sitting there doing like dungeons or some shit, man. And yeah. um, I'm like, man, I'm hungry, man. Uh, I'm I'm thinking about going to get something to eat. And she goes, well, uh, I can order you a pizza if you want. And I'm like, shit, all right. <laughs> so what? She ordered this. It gets better, man. She ordered me a pizza. It came to the house. I'm like, oh man, thank you, blah blah blah. And uh, that happened for like a, that happened a couple times. And um, so I'm like, dang, I got got me developing a sugar mama over here, man. Nice. So. Keep topping those raid meters. So (laughs) (laughs) I'm getting getting pizza and everything, which is whatever. And uh, next thing I know, I start talking about a dog. (laughs) It's like, man, I kind of want a dog. You know, I want to get a dog. And she goes, what kind of dog do you want? I said, man, I've always wanted a Boston Terrier. You know, I said, but I, I'll, I'll look it up. So she calls me like an hour later. She goes, hey, I got you this dog at this place. Go pick it up. It's ready for you. So I'm, Damn. Like, I'm like, what? So I went over to this place in like Silsby or something like uh, papers and everything, man. She's like, pick one out. So hmm. I'm like, damn. So now I got a dog. I'm like, shit. All right, man. All right, we'll see how far we can go with this. I was, driving I was thinking about dog. buying a car. <laughs> I was driving a black Dodge 1500, man. I was looking, I wanted to put like some chrome trim on it and everything, blah, blah, blah. Man, I'm not, long story short, man, just to give you a list of things that this chick bought me, and I wasn't really, I don't know, man, I was milking it. Like, (laughs) I I bet you were. I Mm -hmm. had chrome on my truck, man. I had uh, pizza ordered. My phone bill was paid for like a year. (laughs) Uh, Gee. This Wait, chick. hold on, hold on. You never met her in person? No, no, no. Uh-uh. What uh, the, to this day? To this day. Uh-uh. What the fuck? And uh, let me tell you where I cut hey, her off. Hey, call her. Call her. Get her on the chat. Get her on the chat. So, <laughs> Clay said, I'm tired of working these different shit. Bought, yeah, yeah. You know, she bought me, like, Xbox and PlayStation. She bought me, uh, uh, bro, she named a star after me, cuz. <laughs> She named a star after me, man. And oh then, my uh, goodness! I got an Jesus, autograph, dude. Man, that a... voice must have made her fucking knickers wet. Then dude, that I don't know, man. I got an autographed picture of Chuck Norris somewhere. She got me that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just random shit, yeah. man. So, anyways, I'm on the phone with her, you know, and uh, she's like, "Hey, I want to come see you," and I'm like, "Nah, nah, 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 nah." nah. So where my wife had find has had found out we were moving into the house, so uh, we had a box full of junk or whatever, and um, she's like, "Is this a star?" And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, you know this this girl bought me a you know named a star after me," and uh, she's like, "Who the hell would name? I wouldn't even give you this." And I'm like, "Damn, well I guess you don't love me as much as this girl did." <laughs> <laughs> And uh, anyways, man, I told her the whole story, man. She tore that star up in front of my face, man. Oh, no. <laughs> she no ripped way. Up. The Dude. Mikey Bear. The Mikey Bear star. There's the a star. The Mikey Bear star. There's, there's a star up there somewhere with my name on it, man. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my but goodness. Do you ever see a picture of her? Or like... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Was she worth meeting or? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Oh man, you, <laughs> <laughs> you had old old Ali nah, back. Man, she looked like she looked like she rang bells for a living, bro. Damn. Oh yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm like, charge you to cross a bridge. You know what oh, I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she's like a quest mob, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> so oh messed God. up. <laughs> <That's brand. laughs> hey man, she was oh, no. like, let's see, I was like 22, 23, something like that. She was yeah. like 40 something, man, trying her best. Yeah, hey, she did try her best, man. She got yeah. you some good stuff. Hey, I appreciate it, man. This man got an autograph, Chuck Norris, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've seen it. I used to have it at the office when yeah. we had the same job. Yeah, oh, my funny. goodness, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah, I man. can't believe Mikey's in this chat right now. Like, I didn't realize until I heard his voice. I was like, is, that my, is, that, my, is that my Mikey? Is that <laughs> my, my Mikey? Oh, me. my God. I'm off this yeah. weekend, man. So nice. Just, I, Hell yeah. Man, me and Mikey got the same schedule. Mm-hmm. But uh, I gotta work Saturday and Sunday. They hold Dang. me, yeah. But that well, check gonna hit good. But I want how much you selling that poster for? <laughs> <laughs> That's a piece of history, man. You pulled off the caper of the of the century. Yeah, man. So she's she's like, hey, I really want to come see you, and I was like, nah, this ain't gonna happen. No. How did this but she happen? but she played okay. wild. How did y'all's podcast turn into like Howard Stern? Because that's how I feel. Because like, he started right now. asking about Eddie's relationship. <laughs> but, but the thing with the podcast is, like, it's going exactly how me and Sonny talked about it. Like, we're gonna start off a little bit of structure, topics, yeah, and a little out the gaming window. topics, and then you know it, it just go for what you know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, I can derail it real quick, yeah. man. We so can here's go. here's a serious question though: How many? Well. I don't know if I should ask this. How many of y'all have hooked up with somebody in your raid before? Ooh, in my raid? Yeah. No. Nah. Nah. Mike ain't careful, <laughs> buddy. <Nah. laughs> I've Negative. met. I, I've met. No. So sh shit, I've gone to the last two BlizzCons and met my met my guild there. But you know, a bunch of dude. I'm yeah. married, obviously. So. Uh, well, back in the day, you know. Oh man, back in the day, man, I would. I damn near throw it at anybody. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like was, nowadays, if some girl person. approached me and was like, "Hey, we're in the same raid group," like I'd be like, "Okay." But back in that the was, day, that, that, that nice. would be a, that would be a turn on for you. Well, I met. Uh, so there was this chick in the raid group when I was playing back in Wrath of the Lich King. Like her sister and her mom played too. <clears throat> And somehow or another, I just, I was like, hey, uh, if I get more DPS, because she was playing a hunter, which was like, it's, it's always dumb DPS. I was like, if I top you into DPS charts, you got to give me your number. And she's like, all right. Ooh. So I, you she, she, <laughs> she was like, bet. Well, she's as, like, okay. As, as flat lights and incense. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you better light man, that I'm talking about love. Over I'm here. burning incense, man. We had bad well, she wife. was she was a little bit younger. I had kids, and her parents weren't super happy about it. But anyway, I took a screenshot of like the burst part, like when a mage blows their cooldowns, and my burst was higher than hers. So I took I a screenshot, was. and uh, yeah, it was. And uh, so I sent that to her at the end, and she didn't know how to read. She was either just didn't care, and was like, "I'm just going to give you your number, my number, anyway." But I was no like, all right, shit. so I won. So I got her phone number. She texted me a picture, and I was like, Damn. okay. Like, it wasn't great, but it was like, dude, she had, like, it was a butterface. But it was like, all right. So she lived, I think, in Dallas or something. So it was like she would drive down to Beaumont because I was jobless back then when we were playing. So, yeah, hey, it was during Wrath of Lich King. Yeah. So she came down and we ended up hooking up. It was pretty cool, but she was weird. <laughs> so it's like, well, it's probably. Yeah. She was and to weird, say you cool, said? And to say cool booty raid chick. <laughs> cool booty raid chick. <laughs> cool, cool booty raid chick. <laughs> you said she was weird? She was hey, definitely I remember, weird. I remember yeah. those jobless sunny days. Hey, yeah. speaking of that, speaking of that, that subject, weird. I mean, like, not having a job? Gamer chick's weird. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I feel like, yeah, gamer chicks are weird. I think gamers in general yeah, are pretty I've, weird. I've, yeah. Because I'm definitely yeah. not normal. Yeah. Hey, what, are, what are we, when, when, we game, when we're gaming, like, what are we tapping into? You feel what I'm saying? What, what I was we... tapping into my raid juice. Yeah, you know, like like mentally, like what are we looking for? When oh, we... shit, I ain't thinking about nothing. That's the best part about gaming. That's that's yeah. I'm... I think that's yeah. It's just a clear space. That's to an me. escape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. All it's the responsibilities and shit. I have as an adult. 
know what I'm saying? Why are you right. talking about like rating, like trying to complete something and like achieve something, or are you just talk about gaming, like just to? I'm this just gaming is like, like why, why you pick up the I controller? Think, like, honestly, you know honestly, I, mean? I think I think you like, uh, especially with everybody, like you tap into the things that you wish that you could probably do. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I I mean, who wouldn't want to be that guy that fucking dual wields <laughs> fucking great swords you know what i mean like it's, I, it's like the same reason like you would like we play mario you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. you know i wish i could you know grow big and throw fireballs and stuff like like that, that was crawfish yeah. drink beer yeah, yeah. yeah well, oh, we I could was, throw some fireballs if we need maybe to. maybe maybe not with mario i don't know if there was ever a time where i wanted to be mario i, I mean it's a me I hate yeah, I hated I, I, his but I, I mean, I get, I got his. I think Mario was relatable because you wanted the princess. You know, you wanted to say, you know, like you know, when, you, when you were younger, you you wanted to do, you wanted to show off to get the girl that you wanted at the time. I smashed you know? a lot and, of turtles yeah. trying to get to that princess. It don't work. <laughs> I hate but, that. Man. A, lot of, a lot of these like MMOs, like 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 I, I know I keep saying Elden Ring because that's, that's what I'm playing right now. But mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't. There's nothing like relatable towards like relationship or girl in that it's just like i i would love to be a dude that fucking has sick ass armor and could dual wield these fucking badass weapons you know there's I mean? a like, lot of awesome. psych there's a lot of psychology in the question that you asked as far as like mm -hmm. men are we're goal oriented so we're trying to achieve things and and there's always a princess to save like that taps into the core of who a dude is like there's a beauty to save there's a battle to be won like so it's it's different for me so like when when i tap into my gaming i i'm like plat i i don't like playing a lot of solo games right like i prefer a multiplayer game uh -huh. and that's because uh when i when i get off work i'll spend time with the wife and kid and then as soon Check as him. i can as soon as i can then i'm i'm sitting there like i can't wait to play with the boys right and there's mm -hmm. nothing else that i really you know like i if if we're sitting there playing destiny right now i'm not sitting here like oh man like i gotta beat this i'm like man i can't wait to have fun you know yeah, I, mm -hmm. this is my way of de-stressing relaxing hanging yeah. with the boys yeah. i want to get Elden ring but the only time I can play with someone is against a boss, right? For me, it's like, oh, I'm not there yet, right? It's Yeah, that's the reason I haven't. Besides having too many games and trying to accomplish a few other things, is yeah, yeah I, I want it to be like full open mode. I want to I wanna have yeah. fun. I want to have fun in a game. Like, I feel more that, I feel that what? because like you're, you're thinking about like, like me, like I used to do like bar scene. I was a musician and mm -hmm. I was a bartender at one point. Like I was I very... Have. You know, I was very out out there, and then now, now you know, you, you can't really necessarily do that when you have a wife and kids. You know what right. I mean? Because it's it's right. frowned upon. So the only the only really chance you get to experience that that like with the boys feeling is really like what Gaming. we're doing right now. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, man, I so, feel like the grand social aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like social man, like I feel like the older I get, the less patience I have for people, man. Yeah. So I'd rather chill. Up, I'd rather chill at the crib, man. Like, and I, cause I used to love to go to the bar and everything, and go to clubs and shit. Um, but it's not even that I'm married now, you know. And it was just, I ain't got patience for that shit, man. Like, yeah, I'd just stay yeah, home. Those and days chill. are. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go to a friend's friend. house and have some drinks, or they'll come over to my house and she darts out in the garage. Yeah, man. Dude, I, I still, yeah. I still love going out, man. But I, I love, I love being home too, and I love it when my friends come over. I, I mean, you know, you, you know, I know Mikey and I know, um, uh, Sunny. They know, you know, I, I like being a social. I like the social event. Like I would, I'll choose that over video games. Like, yeah. Me personally. No, and me, everybody's uh, different, you know. Uh, yeah, me, like in my situation, like I still like going out or whatever club or bar whatever it don't matter to me but i used to like at one point in my life like i used to throw parties for a living like i didn't have a job like i would throw you a birthday party at a club and get half of the door you know mm -hmm. what i mean like so it's like still embedded in me like even though i'm not promoting parties or anything anymore like i'm still like kind of trapped in that and my family owns a club too so yeah. it's like i'm kind of trapped in that 
like I feel like I'm missing something if if I don't go, like if if I go a month without hitting a like a a social scene, not necessarily just a club. It's like I'm I force myself to go out one weekend or something like that. But yeah. like I don't you know, but gaming shit it takes up a lot. I don't even watch TV no more because of gaming. You know what I mean? Like it's it's crazy for me. See, as I'm getting know. older. I don't care for bars or clubs much yeah, anymore because like, I can't I can't have a conversation just, with yeah. people because everything's so freaking loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I'm there to drink and socialize and I feel like the socializing part is not there because I'm struggling yeah. to hear you the whole entire time. Right, right, right. You well, know I'm what not, I'm saying? You, you your your head's hanging on that person's shoulder just so you can hear them. <laughs> dude, you I, I sound you. so much like Randy Sa Macho Man Randy Savage. You say, dude, "Oh like, yeah, snap into a slim oh, jim." Yeah. <laughs> dude, I it's just like so it. freaking nuts, man. I just realized that while you were saying it, you're like, "Man, like the coffee, man, like um, <laughs> snap you know into it." I mean? Oh my gosh, dude, that's so badass. I fucking love it. Um, yeah. I just no, I I personally like. Now, like, if I go out, it's not to, like, a club. I don't – I'm not going out to rage or dance or shit like that. Like, even though I like to dance, but what I'm saying is, like, like we have a, a bar like the West. The West is just, like, a sit-down. You know, there's not a lot going on, no super loud music. It's basically us – like, if we're right now, if we were all hanging out right now at a bar with no loud music, sitting in lawn chairs, doing this exact same thing, like – it's that feeling, you know. I'd rather be that, at somebody's yeah. crib or my crib. Backyard, man, with yeah. the beers is way cheaper I'm than not, a bar. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear that. Every yeah. time I go to Tim's house, man, that's cool, man. We hang out in the backyard. <clears throat> Play board I'd games? Be, yeah, I'd rather be at somebody's house or my house, you know. Maybe yeah, it's people, I don't know. And it's just, uh, like, it's the social aspect. Like, see, like, right now, like, if I was just sitting in the house, like, say, drinking, like, I, I don't like like to drink by myself. But if I'm sitting here talking to y'all or playing a game or streaming and people watching talking, like I I might pull one up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more of the the social aspect mm -hmm. that I that I try to feel. And sometimes it's it's, it's feel right here in this chair. So it's, you know I'm good either way. Like I I can go club or we could you know kick it and take down a raid boss. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. <laughs> Some yeah, cool shit though. Way. I don't drink unless there's a uh, social side to it. Yeah, yeah, I think I think like that's... if CT if CT say I'm about to bust a beer open, I'm going to the store if I don't have any <clears> to <throat> get me some. You know what I mean? Like it's it's, it's dude. I got a sweet crazy. I got a sweet I got a sweet buzz going on right now. I'm like eight. <laughs> I'm eight. I'm like eight beers in maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's like you the uh, uh, a few months ago or whatever said you were gonna drink and I had some out in the uh, refrigerator in the garage. Yeah, yeah. I think we were playing wild or something. Then, yeah. While we were playing, I think gaming gives us a nice social aspect as well. Like, I think that's where the MMO is really tied in, and why you see a lot of games, even though like they're not like traditional MMOs. Like, it's not a ton of fun to just like it's some of these storylines are great, and and that's a big part of the escape session. Like, reading is another one where you're forming the pitches in your head. The video games. I wouldn't say it's a lazy aspect. It's just a different aspect of watching the pictures and, and seeing yeah. someone else's stories. I mean, that's why movies are so, you know, popular. Yeah, Destiny Music, did a hell of a job with this, <clears throat> this story they did. Yeah, it's a, it's a great story. That's why I love The Division. I think it's a great story. You know, yeah, the Zeldas, yeah, the, they're great stories. Like Castlevania, another great story. Like when we talk about our favorite games, oh, shit, they're great stories. And then you hey, pull, the best, pull in the, the aspect story, of... Go ahead. Best story in game and history. Metal Gear Solid. That's an amazing story. Oh my God! I'm talking about from start to finish. Like that shit had me like, <laughs> I, I I can go on YouTube and watch all the cutscenes. You know what I'm saying? And enjoy it. Like it's that that's that was a from, Castlevania from, Bloodlines oh, Sega Genesis. Shit. You see that shit right there? Wrapped in plastic. Oh my God, dude. Uh, that. Oh shit. That that right this is this is a hundred dollar this hundred dollars as is even with my initials on. What is rap? <laughs> Castlevania line. Okay, I was having a hard Snake time because of the glare. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it now. But I mean Simon's Quest, dude. Simon's Simon's Quest, bro. Like I loved it. Anybody that oh my gosh, anybody that doesn't know 
Uh, Castlevania is like my that's my heart, <clears> dude. <throat> I freaking love that. I love that game so much. So I when you say when you say stuff like the that, RPG element to it. How yeah. many? How many of y'all thought? I'm going old school, but how many of y'all thought Zelda was Link name? Oh, what? for a long time, and and oh, we had yeah. to read a magazine to find out Samus Aran was a girl. Girl, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? When I found that out, I was stunned. I'm like, so his his name not Zelda is Link? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I I didn't it know until I literally I literally found that out, and I was 27, 28. Dang. But see, Sam Sam is <clears throat> on uh Samus. I thought her name was Metroid. Like I'm, I don't know. I, I was. I was face value back then. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, let's play Metroid. You know, that's that's him right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how I was with this shit back then. Dude, though. Ch- you talking about Zelda? Check check out this gift that Sonny got me mm. right here. Is it, you see that cell? It's hard uh, to. Yeah. See. Can it's, you see? No, it? I see it. It's I so shiny. It. But yeah, you have to twist to get your camera light off of it. Just there. link on on the uh, pedestal where you get yeah, the sword. That's, huh? the, that's getting the master sword, man. Yeah, yeah. So it's Bro. a it's a three D block. Dope. They do it in layers. Right yeah, that's dope. Yeah, man. Tim oh, like me, yeah, man, pulling it. out all his old shit. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, this is this is stuff that I have like that I like. I'm a collector, so oh. like I have stuff that I mean, dude. I, I got power rate. I got all kinds of shit, dude. Like. That 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 I that I memorize, you know, like it's my past, man. Like, yeah, I like, mean, I still I, have I never... my old consoles, like my NES, my Super NES, my sixty four. Yeah, That's dude. Crazy. We we I were talking that. about this earlier on the Sega Genesis that I um Jay was brought up like I had no clue of the Sega uh, Sega channel and that the Sega Genesis uh, had a built in coax mm-hmm. that you, yeah that you you could uh, you could bust out like. I had yeah, no it had like an adapter you plugged in and it that screwed into mm-hmm. the cable. It was like Netflix, like right, you know where the so RF like the stadia now. It was an adapter that plugged in that and it had a uh, coaxial. It was cool, man. Yeah, on the back. I had a, I had a buddy. Mike, you cool remember? You remember Sega Channel? Yes, sir. You get Thank like thirty you. games oh, every man. month. Yeah. yeah. I went to my that, buddy, my buddy, uh, uh, my buddy Everett had that man growing up. That's and what I was should, saying. That shit blew me away. He was like, "Hey, man, you want to play some Sega?" And I'm like. Yeah, and he turned his channel on the TV, and I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? He goes, oh, this is Sega Channel. and uh, All kind of games on the screen. He, he, he get like 30 games every month, and then every month they re- they they put more games on there. They recycle the games. It was awesome. Golden X3, first mm-hmm. time I played it on Sega Channel. You know, I was released in Japan. I was so poor growing up, we didn't have cable or shit like that, so like... I had no clue, and so when we were talking about this earlier, it blew my mind because I was already mm-hmm. like I'm a I've always been a big Sega fan. You know what I mean? I think that 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 died early. You know, With, yeah. Uh, yeah. And put, it, put so, it like this: it's the same format as like when you're on like PlayStation Network and mm-hmm. Xbox Connect. Like it's like almost you scroll through the games like like you're buying them, mm-hmm. but you just go straight to playing them because you're already yeah. paying the fee. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. It took that long for that type of service to come back and that's that was the like 90s 90 to well, 95 you gotta think about it you mm-hmm. gotta think about it like like so like me like i i do have an entrepreneurial mindset right like anything i can make money with i'm gonna think outside the box and, and i feel like sega always did that and mm. when i when i say that that we're talking about innovation right yeah and that innovation wasn't rewarded with them like and maybe that's poor marketing maybe that's poor whatever but at, at the end of the day they became a game designer for for fucking microsoft like that's what that's what their the end of their trail after the dreamcast they got bought and then they became game designers for microsoft that's what their end of the line was it was like why like i think why? they were just because ahead of their time so it's just I, yeah, that stick. was a lot of part of it and like the Game Gear, like the handheld Sega, like that, mm-hmm. like way Hell ahead, yeah. full colored so, handheld. So I got a question for y'all. Oh what goodness. was the first console to give give uh, players actual online game? Oh, play? Sega Dreamcast all day. Yeah. Didn't the GameCube go Dreamcast? online? Dreamcast, Dreamcast, yeah. baby. Dreamcast, yep. Dreamcast, Dreamcast, Dreamcast was the first one. Dreamcast. Yeah. Dreamcast. Yeah, Sixty Four Online. You play. You played oh, Power shit. Stone online. You yes, play with sir. other people across mm-hmm. uh, across the net. Yep. It was the best. 
Cap Marvel vs. Capcom yeah. was you could play online against other people. That's why I was talking about how hyped I was about Marvel vs. Capcom. Like, mm -hmm. are you shitting me right now? Like, you can do this? Mm -hmm. It was insane. And and they all what we we looked at the stats earlier. They only sold nine million units. It was underutilized. Yeah, wasn't uh Marvel vs. Capcom like the first like esports uh like tournament game or? Oh, that could I, have been. Like I street. believe so. I believe so. I believe. I mean, it could have been Street Fighter. Like I think Mike yeah. just said that. Um, okay. But I I don't know, dude. Marvel vs. Capcom was super hyped, dude. People loved that game. It was mm -hmm. the best. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man, they got a game called Dynamite Cop on Dreamcast. I used to go ape shit on that game. Did I, um... Oh, man. I lost you a ever... lot of sleep playing Fantasy Star Online on Dreamcast. Fantasy Star Online? Fantasy Star Online. Did... I played that on GameCube. Did y'all ever play uh, Dino Crisis? Dino yes, Crisis. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. Bruh. Dreamcast so good, was by man. far my favorite system as a kid, man. Yeah. And they had, like, like they were saying earlier, with the uh, screen on the controller, and, mm -hmm. you know, you could... You, Outside, part of the part of the game was on on the screen. Like you could pick your plays and the, the, X, the games, Xbox remote stuff. right now is like you know it's curved now, but mm -hmm. uh, Sega Dreamcast remote was designed the exact same way. Okay. Like if you yeah. if you go back and look at the Sega Dreamcast and you look at the Xbox controller right now, the Dreamcast remote is basically the Xbox remote. It's just now it's is it, you know it goes it curves in more. To ha for your hands, the the Dreamcast was more like direct, you know, like parallel. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I think the best controller ever made was a Nintendo GameCube. It was that it was a good. It controller. was easy to hold. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah, the N sixty four controller though. Still, that... oh, that thing was a terrible controller. See, man. I told you somebody would say I crap on that. It, no, dude. no, no. Well, the thing about the N sixty four controller the was analog the, stick. That, <laughs> Loved uh, it. <laughs> You had to like change you for the analog, yeah. right? Yeah. And then then the joystick on the N sixty four remotes would go out. And oh yeah, like, easy. Yeah. It, yeah, and that was the. It took a long time to get stick drift on those. Not like nowadays. You look at your Joy-Con, you get anytime, stick drift. Anytime I play Smash Bros, I pull out the GameCube controller. Man. Yeah. I got wired a, I got or wireless. The Switch. Uh, I got well, I got one for the Switch that's wireless. Mm. But uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a well-designed controller. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. My my N64 is in my son's room in the closet there. Otherwise, I would bust out my my purple uh, my purple <laughs> N64 remote. It was the clear the clear one. Mm -hmm. Oh that, yeah, like, yep, yep. Uh, Oh uh, my god, that shit was so what dope. What was that? What was that brand called? Tiger or something? Uh, Mad Cats. Uh, Mad Cats. Cats. Yeah. Mad, Mad Cats. Cats. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, that was a piece god. of shit. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> That cat was like the Sam's choice of controllers. <laughs> exactly. you know? Like the RC Cola of controllers. Bro, they RC Cola is so good. Really good though. Like, like don't 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 send your mom to buy a controller because like that. You got yeah, mad cats. Know, the PS4 back then, back then I remember like PlayStation One remotes were like like mm -hmm. 39, and the Mad Cats would be like 19.99, and like it was like a wrap. <laughs> All right, Angie, take it easy, babe. Take it easy. But they yeah, have some yeah. they'd have some design on it, so people would be like, Oh, that's cool looking. Yeah, or it's a clear yeah. controller or yeah. something. Yeah, like it's, and it's just the, the inside. The biggest piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were God. we were poor we like I said, we were poor growing up, so like we never really bought games. Uh Blockbuster, we, man. we we rented them at block like yeah. we went to the, the movie store and bought Bro. And, and did those this I rented a I lot of games as a kid. Super yeah. Nintendo, okay. Super Nintendo. The Krogers used to rent them out. Yes, they the did. Krogers store. used yeah. to have a, a little uh, rent a <laughs> like video store. Yep. So, UN Squadron. Let's though, say I, I had, rented that one a lot. Yeah. Now, my mom used to like go to the pawn shop and buy some like Super Nintendo games. They were like mm -hmm. 10, 15 bucks a piece or something back then, 20 bucks maybe. But she'll get like the stupidest shit. She she got us a game called James Pond before. <laughs> like yeah. on Super Nintendo. It was the worst Wait, fucking what? game ever. James, James Pond. Pond. It was a fish underwater that was like James Bond supposed to be. <laughs> Hell yeah. And he had like a little pea shooter and you swim around. It had some whack ass music playing in the background. But like 
we would take, <laughs> say we go rent a game, right? My grandfather used to go rent his games all the time because he was oh, like, James and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you never James seen James Pond. Look Pond it up. Somebody look up James Pond. Oh, Hold on, I, I, I got you. And then, uh, I got you. And then, uh, yo, share the screen on James Pond. You'll see it's a I'll pull it. I'll pull it up. With a goddamn James Bond blazer jacket with his tail hanging out. All right, and oh, then, uh, it's on my screen. Oh, and then, uh, oh, you'd then, have to uh, look at my stream, but yeah, James Pond I'm... three, dang. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. as a James kid Pond. growing up, Mega I had drive. the sweetest uh, deal code name Richard. Robocod. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but then they like we used to go to Kroger's and we'll like I peeled the sticker off the James Pond. Like, oh no! You be real delicate. Yeah, you peel it off, and then you take the game you rented and put that one back on the one you don't want. <laughs> so we return that game back to Kroger's and have the game we want. You know what, what I'm saying? Is this? We did that over and over. <laughs> James, oh, he, he got James Con Pond pulled up. Let me see this shit. James Pond 2 Robocod Long Play Game Boy Advance. That's some silliness. Bro. Dang, yeah, but it was a whack Game Boy Ooh, Color. Man. <laughs> what? Bro, hey, I remember those. There you uh, go. There you <laughs> go. Stretchy. James Pond. Oh, that's some <laughs> silly <laughs> stuff. James Let's see Pond. some gameplay. Oh, you this is terrible. Some, you know, there's some speedrunner out there that has a world record for James Pond. A car? <laughs> every time, every time video, games, yeah, every time video game discussions come up, he goes, "Well, you know, I'll hold the record for James Pond, <laughs> Robo." <laughs> what Robo is going on too. right now? He's in a car. <laughs> what the heck? game I ever played in my life. Then, well, uh, but that, it wasn't that one. It was, uh, oh, this looks like, terrible. just number one, just James Bond one. I think it came out on Sega and SNES. It was trash. Because he was underwater, and uh, I guess he trash. is underwater right now. Sounds pretty yeah, it, The whole trash. game is an underwater level from Mario. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you just absolutely yeah, was, hate every bit of it. But I, I wonder which developer <laughs> bloop, was like, bloop. man... This is a hit. Like we need to make this game. Like who the somebody at the table? Like I right, check it out. I he's got an bitch, idea. <laughs> but he's a spy. Yeah, dude. James that's great. Pond. But yeah, we used to. We didn't buy games. We we rented and switched mm -hmm. out labels and that's to what... return them. And that's We're what talking. you know. Honestly, you finished the game. You know. Oh yeah, you finished like, it. You yeah. you learned how to beat a game in forty eight hours. You mm -hmm. learned how yeah. to do oh, it. Oh, man, that would piss my mom off because she would buy a game. She would buy a game for, like, Christmas or whatever, and my brother would beat it in, like, a day and stop yeah. playing it. She goes, what happened to that game? And he's like, oh, well, I beat it already. And she goes, mm -hmm. what the hell? I just spent, like, so much money on this game, and you beat it the first day? Yep. And then... That's, that's, what, made, part, that's what made those games like Mario 64, like, so iconic. Like, Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you. Right I now. bet you nobody in this fucking stream, other than me, has beat Donkey Kong sixty four. I have that, not. <laughs> that game, that game is a long ass game. It's I beat Mario. Mario sixty four is a long ass game. It was tough. It was difficult. And yeah, you played to get on it. Stars and everything. You chewed on it. You chewed on it for a long time, man. But like, you, I, back to your point on the whole like. Off brand games like did anybody on the stream play Buck Bumble? No, 64? <laughs> never even heard of it. No, okay. What about what about Lemmings? Lemmings, Lemmings is terrible. Lemmings, <laughs> dude, Lem I did play, I played Lemmings a lot. Um, the reason why I asked about Buck Bumble because Buck Bumble, late, <laughs> Buck, Buck Bumble is because like in the you know, in the mid 90s, late, late 90s, y'all remember the y'all remember the starter jackets. Yeah, Mike Fees with the raid. Mike Fees with the raid on Twitch. I appreciate you, bro. My bad. Dude, the the starter jackets were like super hot mid nineties. Yeah, uh, late nineties, man. Like they were everybody expensive. Had, and it, anybody that's an NBA fan or a, a football fan at the time, like the you, starter park boys. But I was a big Hornets fan at the time, and yeah. Buck Bumble Buck Bumble came out right, and it was like. Okay, it's a bee. It's like a hornet. So, I'm going to get this game. And I, it was the first game that I hid from my mom. Because we rented games. 
It was the first yeah. game that I hid from my mom saying, I, I think somebody stole it at school. I brought it. Never turned it back. <laughs> Never returned it back. <laughs> oh, I, still oh, that shit. I still got that shit today. Damn. Today. Man, I, I had it sweet growing up, man. We had a uh, mom pa rental uh, deal in town, and it was ran by a bunch of, uh, or by two older uh, couples. And uh, I'd go up there. They let me go up there, sweep the inside clean up their parking lot, take trash out and shit, and I could pick whatever game I wanted and rent it for up to like two to three days. Well, but damn. Nice. Damn. Yeah, but yeah, well, yeah. So those, <laughs> that's that's some like, of those. That's like everybody, <laughs> so that's... everybody like us is dream. Like, you mean I can get to rent games for free? But one... that puts you under pressure, though, like you guys were saying. I have only got a couple days to beat the damn yeah. game. <laughs> Uh, Bro, you remember like on the SNES when they came out with, like Secret of Mana, like and that started that whole thing of everybody's gonna love Chrono Trigger, whatever it is. But Chrono like, Trigger was, Trigger. It, right, Trigger. dude. Honestly, it took uh, like we were talking about top five. That was like six. Like I, I didn't want to bring it up, but it, that was six on there. Like Secret of Mana was like changed my life. I was like, holy cow, this game's amazing. Like those games back in the day, like those were ones you rented. Like now playing it, it's not as good. It still has some playability because they they reissued it on Steam. But like those iconic games, there's so many people. Like Tim's what about eight years younger than me? Like that generation of the, like guys that are just almost like a decade younger than me. Like you say Chrono Trigger, and they're just like whoa, you know? It's like. It's so funny because that's Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, man. Chrono Cross, and I was like Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, like, and those are the prequels. Like Square was coming out with these insanely amazing games, and it's like, I know we talk about like those those really awesome games, but sometimes like those gems, like I know a lot of people know what they are, but when's the last time you actually like played it or thought about it? Because it's not, you know, it's, Dude, I it's... played Castlevania Symphony of the Night like last month. Heck yeah! Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Mm, just the, that's an just, awesome dude, one too. It's so play. good, man. I do. Man, like, I was. You like, guys, I, you, you hold on. You guys actually talk about that, right? You mentioned that Symphony of the Night. My portrait picture is actually the librarian from that. I just took the damn mm. uh, book out of his hand and put a rosary bead. Nice. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> huh. Sorry, just no useless shit. tidbit. Yeah. 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 There's no re- need to apologize about uh, that, man. You, Bro. you get the pamphlet with it, and it had a picture of him in there, so I just looked at it and drew it. Took the nice. book out and put the rosary in. No, I, I was yeah. I was like uh, Ninja Gaiden. Ooh. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. On Nintendo? Oh. Ooh, that was Ooh. a hard game, bro. Bro, I stayed up like so many. Like, I'm talking about mm-hmm. 6, 7 in the morning. I'm still up playing these games, man. It's, uh, damn. I miss, uh, like, if I could... Go back and start over, like to '85. I'd do it. Yep. See my uh, right now. my stuff growing up, man. We didn't really play consoles. Like we always had a computer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, we I was I grew up playing like EverQuest and Ultima Online and stuff like that. Ultima Online, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baldur's so, Gate and uh, Neverwinter. Yeah, yeah. Like, there was man. this other game I really liked as a kid. It was called Knox. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was kind of like Baldur's Gate. Um, yeah. But like Age of Empire and Red Alert and all that stuff. Man. Yeah, I play Red Alert. Starcraft, man. Diablo. Uh, I grew up on PC games. Now we did play console games from time to time, but mostly, man, we uh, we played PC games, man, growing up. Outside and, uh, of the Commodore 64, which we talked about earlier, like the PC games that I got intro to was by my uncle Lonnie, and. Like he he introduced me to like Doom and uh, Duke yeah. Nukem. Duke Nukem was like, holy crap, Wolfenstein! Yeah. Like, and hey, play- please somebody mention that game. Like playing, <laughs> playing, yeah. well, playing Duke those him. games, and like I remember, like my dad would bring me to see my uncle, and my dad didn't get video games at all. Like at all, he hated them. And then I would sit there, and my uncle Lonnie would be like, hey check out this game and i'd be like oh okay and i'd be on the computer like and the whole time they visited yeah i remember because he would smoke cigarettes inside it was the first time like mm. i'd like it was the only time where basically my dad would bring me somewhere where someone was smoking cigarettes and i would be inside while they were smoking cigarettes and i didn't give a shit like because 
I, I just wanted to play those video games, man. See, what he's not telling you is Uncle Lonnie would play Duke Nukem 3D and bring him to the strip club. <laughs> there's, a, there's a secret area where the strip yeah. club. Don't if tell me about this. If I room. found out that, my dad would be a lot cooler. You know, you'd be a lot cooler. You'd wake in the did. morning for the bus to show up and you're playing your dad's strip poker on the PC. There is a strip club you can go to in Duke Nukem, man. You, there'd be these strippers there. You'd have to kill all the monsters and everything. And he'd yep. come up to him and Duke knew he'd like it would show him handing money. He'd be like, "Shake it, baby." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I dance. You, you want to dance? You want to dance? like, yeah. it. and they would I like, it. <laughs> they would like show their boobs at you, and they were like these. It was all had, pixelated. Like, green, hey, like, was, green it, was it like a was it like you, in a hallway and like a little red curtain of like open up? Yeah, yeah, like, you, you had to hit, yeah. You had to like hit this button at the bar or whatever to open yeah. the door, and then it was there. <laughs> and then, yeah, it was many nights on Duke Nukem too. Mm-hmm. Many nights oh, on Duke yeah. Nukem. Shake Man, it, baby. Boy. Shake yeah. it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I guess my I guess my uncle Lonnie knew I wouldn't be that good to get there. <laughs> He's like, oh, this gets bad. It'll be safe. That was the first thing I found out. I said, oh shit, there's a strip club. <laughs> Hey Oscar. man, that's, what Oscar. what about that first experience? Uh, say uh, when Grand Theft Auto came to PlayStation and uh, oh, like man. you could pick up the strippers, oh. but they didn't show them, but the car would rock. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like that was some crazy. Man, like, that I, was the uh, first introduction I had like with the first time auto sex in a game. Like besides the first time I played like, Grand Theft Grand Theft Auto, man, you went to school. You remember Raymond Krigler? No, 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 no. I think he was uh he no, had to be like after me. That was like, that was Chris Dodson's cousin. I know and, Chris. Uh, well, I was playing at his house. We were playing Grand Theft Auto. I mean, I'll never forget this, man. Um uh, <laughs> this <laughs> Chris's mama came into the room and she was pissed off that we were playing Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> man. For real? Oh hell yeah, bro. Uh, and she turned it off and said that fire and brimstone was gonna rain down on us, man. She got real biblical. She was <laughs> she was real religious, like I remember. Yeah, like, yeah, man. Real and, religious. Um, and man, that shit tripped me out. He and, got uh, mad when we played Rampage. Damn, yeah. With the with the Ooh. monkey and the uh, mm-hmm. uh, Rampage, baby. What was the other one? Uh, the uh, the dinosaur. Dinosaur, yeah, they mm-hmm. like we were just tearing up the buildings and like it was King Kong and uh, uh, whatever, and you climb up the buildings Godzilla and grab people like, out. Yeah. Man, I I love that woman, man. Uh, yeah, God rest her soul. But man, she was tripping on that Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> she didn't like that one bit, and I felt like, bad. I felt bad for playing it. I said, Raymond, we need to turn this off, bro. He's like, no, no, it's cool. I said, no, it's really not, man. She really mad. Yeah, I mean, she was all about like, uh you know, teaching you something or whatever, because, like, we used to go over there sometime, mm. and, like, we go over there to, like, play with Chris, or, like, let's go down to the water, you know, right down from Chris' mm. house at Bluebirds, and we, like, uh, end up, like, gardeners. Like, mm. she got us planting flowers in front of our house and shit. I'm like, damn, like, yeah. I ain't coming to your house no more. <laughs> she, was, she was she was a good woman, man. I grew up yeah, with yeah. her, man. And, uh, but not nah, grab just... That's just talking about work. Grand Theft Auto and how like you could do shit in the game that was like, you're like fucking with your moral compass over here. Like, damn, I just, I just had sex with this so hooker wild. and just took her money back. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just ran over this hooker. Damn. Yeah, it, it pushed the line, man. It, yeah. it really pushed the line. Now it's normal. Yeah. yeah now, now, you don't so... even, now you don't even think about yeah. it. Bro. I remember back in the days as a kid, they had like Leisure Suit Larry. That <laughs> oh, yeah. Before before you played it, you had to you had to sign off. An- you had to answer these questions. I'm serious. Like before you played Leisure Suit Larry, you had to answer these questions, and it it was the it was their child it was their child protective thing to make sure if you were a, a, an adult or not. So you'd get asked yeah. these questions from like that adults would know, I guess. Yeah. And uh, shit, I didn't know. I would just. <laughs> I would just answer the questions, and if I got it wrong, I would just start it over again until <laughs> I got it right. And uh, I mean, they had games like that for a long time. I mean, Leisure Suit Larry was all about this like short, manlit dude, just always trying to get laid, and that was the mission. Yeah. And uh, and then from time to time, you'd see some naked chick and be like, "Oh yeah, this is the game." <laughs> This is the best. Real, real uh-huh. quick, Jam Mendez, appreciate you for liking the stream, baby. How you doing? 
This is like my dad growing up. He thought he had the his uh, strip poker hidden pretty good on the computer in a different <laughs> file. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> I learned how to play poker off of that. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got you've got it pretty good too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Right, when I when I one of my early computer day, I was like twenty one, twenty two, had my first kid, shit like that. I had a file with porn on it and I named it Boudin. <laughs> Boudin. <laughs> and my brother this? my brother and cousin would come get on the computer and they like, what a fold at? What a what boudin at? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. <laughs> you sharing oh, your boudin man. with your family? <laughs> they, you know, they just come over with a naked, well, you know, what boudin. You know, it was oh, crazy. No. Man. It, <laughs> Hey man, you try to sneak downstairs as a kid, three o'clock in the morning, stir up that fifty-six K modem, bro. <laughs> it took so long to load up any picture, let alone well, a porn it picture noise, on fourteen four. Dialing noise, yeah. yeah bro, bro, bro. And it took ten minutes. You're it's done it, by the time the picture loads. It's like shit, oh, whatever. Bro, I, uh, seen I couldn't. Be- I couldn't believe it because I discovered, you know, um, aim. American uh-huh. uh, yeah. in, American Online Instant Messenger. Instant Messenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. Like, AOL uh, Instant Messenger, yeah. That, that was like the yeah. that was like MySpace before MySpace, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Talking yeah. About ASL. You could t- you could take you could talk to anybody, dude. I remember that was the first time I had ever experienced in life like someone sending a nude. You know what I mean? <laughs> like like and I'm you know, obviously we're older now, but yeah. this is when I was what, like 16 15 like you know what i mean like what was it what was it like to see somebody else's dick <laughs> <What? laughs> honestly honestly that's when i At knew 16. I, was, I was straight as a, straight as an arrow you know? yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's when i knew that's when i knew uh, i can't i can't do i can't go this path I can't you gotta go, go through path. the bad to get to the good to stare what, at him be like what, what Good I'm saying him. is, is that like, I would get in, I would get in these intense, in these cute. intense, like, you know, like I, d- you don't know what's real. I mean, at that point, I, I get it. Not of, not all of us are Mikey. Mikey like lost his virginity when he was like seven years old or some shit. <laughs> Damn. But, but like me, at the same point. Eight to nine. me at like fourteen, like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. You know, I was just like, oh my gosh. And then you're like looking over your shoulder because. You're in the living room. And that's the only <laughs> computer in the house. Dude, your dad beats you silly. Oh, this dude. God. <laughs> Get out of here, you nosy pervert. You, you you we had this long ass hallway, like long hallway, and like you just think you hear something like, eh, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's how I learned how to like minimize uh, windows and shit like real that. Fast. Like real good. You he know, clicks like, real, real quick. quick. <laughs> nah, I was all there for, all there for. <laughs> that Buddha file is real full. Oh, yeah, sna- I, I, hey man, I, I had to buy a hard drive. Fucking around. That's what, that's why the minimize uh, button hasn't changed in you know thirty years, forty years. I ain't never been caught, man. I'm too sneaky. <laughs> yeah, man. That was, oh, dude, I've been caught never, before. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't good. I ain't never been caught, man. <laughs> I'm, right. sure my, I'm sure my dad was like, oh, what. what you're in trouble. I'm gonna beat your ass. And then, like yeah. later, it, like goes to the computer and be like, "Oh, look at this." <laughs> Scoot He's over. He's got some good taste. <laughs> yeah, hey man, what's you looking at? Yeah, hey, over, huh? I was in uh when I was in the when I was in the army, man. We had this. Uh, I had this one guy that was a paralegal, and uh, I was in a transportation company. Well, anyways, he worked for our our battalion, and they had uh you couldn't have porn in iraq and stuff like that was contraband right so the, he had this one case where he 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 wouldn't like work on the he would like assist on the case and stuff as a paralegal where there was this one chick that made a home video and uh she was a specialist man specialist howard and she was uh she was fine man anyways so she made a video come to find out it got out uh oh and contraband. Uh, next thing you know, everybody's oh, got this everybody's got this video of this girl. So we're at the we're at the headquarters, man, and this dude's watching this video of this chick and he's like, Dang, you know who this is? And uh, we're sitting there watching this video in headquarters and then this fucking master sergeant comes up. I can't remember his name. 
And I'm like, oh, shit, man, we're getting in trouble for this one. And he comes up, what are y'all doing? And we're trying to, like, click out of it. He goes, no, 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 don't click out of it. What y'all watching? <laughs> and, um, so he looks over at the monitor and he goes, is that who I think that is? Because she was, she was like, the sergeant major's driver. So, like, everybody knew who she was. Damn. And, and we're like, fuck, man, we about, to get, we about to get in trouble for this one. She was, like, getting down? She was getting down. And this master sergeant pulls out an external hard drive. He goes, hey, put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got the video. He got the video from us, and he goes, "Y'all didn't see nothing." Like a ten four. It was crazy, man. But yeah, that's. Uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what'd you say, Sonny? What'd you say, babe? So, ladies and gentlemen, we are at like a three hour and forty eight minutes. We'll say three hours and forty five minutes. I say that's a that's a pretty good show there. This is a Lord of the Rings extended episode. Mm. Damn, make sure you hit that follow button for your boy. We're going to be doing this uh, weekly. We're also uh, video game content creators. We stream all types of games. And uh, I want to thank my boy Mikey. Hey. My boy Timmy the Great. We got <laughs> CT in here. We got Blue Dog. I appreciate y'all for coming and hang out with us. We're going to be doing this again, I think, uh, what did we say? Probably Thursday night, Friday night? Sometime next week, yeah. We yeah, got Raid so. coming up in Destiny 2 as well, so we're, we'll are we squeeze yeah. it in somewhere or another. We're going to try to Raid Thursday if y'all can make it. We're going to try to Raid, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're going to try to get it in. We got, cool. I think we got four or five people. Thir Thursday, Thursday after work, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to try to knock it down, hang out, maybe drink a beer together. Sounds you know what I'm saying? So uh, already, absolutely. Be, uh, that's the plan. So, and we may do the podcast Friday night. I, I'm I'm off like eight days. I'll be on eight days. So whenever Sonny can, uh, you know, fit it into his schedule, I'm open. So. Yeah, but definitely raid right Thursday night. So if y'all need to, you know, ice up your characters and get them ready. Absolutely, guardians. Because it's what. What's recommended? 15, 40? 15, 20. 15, 20. 15, 20s. Okay. Yeah, so watching the videos. That, watching the videos on first night, I didn't even think about contender status. Like, that's like the yeah. legendary. No, no, no. Yeah, just do it normal, man. I did yeah. it. Nah, hell uh, no. For should the second be, time today, man. And should be fun. fine once we get nah, the mechanics down. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, big shout out to Platboy Plays. And our main guest, Timmy Pop Pie. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us as well. Like we had mentioned, Mikey CT and Blue Dog for jumping in and assisting Thanks, with the conversation. Uh, like Jay said, we'll be doing this every week. Schedules are a little wonky with the way that we work. So it is going to be a different day every week. I wish we could get a little more consistency to it, but life doesn't doesn't allow for that right now but appreciate everybody coming out smashing that follow like button if you haven't yet go ahead and smash them like you're mad at it we're gonna wrap it up here uh feel free to message us if you have something you want to talk about or if you want to be a guest in the show and just talk turkey we're all about it thank you for the follow i'm out have a good night everybody. Have a good one.